Uh, Godzilla Hepburn, thank you for 21 months. Yeah, 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 yeah. It sucks at first, and then you get used to it, and then all of a sudden, after you get used to it, you're just, like, chilling. Yeah, it's a girl. Congratulations. Don't tell anyone. Don't tell my boy about it, actually. But we have a boy. Ugh. Uh, Nerd or Die did my, all my animations, yeah. Uh, Advance Trash. 1G, 121G, 1GW, thank you so much. Mark, thank you for 22 months. How's it going? It's going great. It's going really, really, really great. Yeah. Super duper awesome great. How's it going for you? Oh! Oh! Oh, good luck with the shells. This game's fucking hard, dude. Uh, it's going chill. Wait, can it go chill? Is that a thing it can go? Can I, can I say it's going chill? It's chill. By the way, chat, this is one of my wife's, one of the gifts my wife got me, and I love it so much. I love it so much. It's... Oh, I love it. Yeah, one one two one G, all I'll say is that you just do whatever you can to help her. You know what I mean? Water? Give her water, ice water all the time. That's what my wife said. Just bring her ice water all the time. Yeah, my wife just told me just bring her ice water all the time. If she has water if she doesn't have water in her hand, give her water. Yeah. <laughs> that's what she said as soon as you feed the baby you get super thirsty all right well there you go new mom advice uh normally a youtube watcher for stream gave you my twitch prime sub thank you so much gamma i really appreciate the twitch prime Faye brand thank you so much mummified chili godzilla have and mark i really appreciate it um thank you guys no no next one for me no next one for me. You guys want some gameplay? Should we do gameplay? Put a one in the chat if you want gameplay. Put a two in the chat if you want to just sit here and talk about Christmas for a minute. <laughs> How was everyone's holiday? I was gone. I was gone. Um, did everyone have a good holiday? Yeah, it was long. A smooth holiday. Long and smooth. That's what she said. Good times with kids. You're still tired? Same. Same. Uh, got a new controller and bought a kid a bunch of toys. That's nice. Did anyone get anything cool? What did you get? How do you sub with Amazon Prime? If you have your Twitch Prime link, you just click sub if you got it. What was my favorite thong for Christmas? Whoa, one, two, you're having a baby and you're just flirting with me like that? Uh, my favorite thing, um, my wife got me a nice, really nice marble chest set that I really like. Um, that was really nice. I wanted a nice chest set for the new house. Um, I... Uh, <laughs> She got me a sh a bookshelf that like keeps track of where you're at and all your books. So I read multiple books at one time, which is really cute. That was a really cute thing she got. Um, I really like that. That's something that I never thought I would like. You know, like I'd never think about, and I really like it. Yeah, which is probably like my favorite thing about that. Uh, she got me these uh, two Outcast shirts, which I really really like. Uh, my brother-in-law got me a pair of Jinko jeans. Chat, like. No joke, Jinko jeans. Like, straight up Jinkos, and I'm so excited about them. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if I'll ever wear them out, but, like, it's, it was just kind of, like, it's the best. Yeah, it's the absolute best. I kind of want to wear them out. You know what I mean? Got a chain wallet, too? You got to have a chain wallet so you don't lose your wallet while you're skating, dude. Um... 
No, seriously, they're great. They're they're great. They're huge. And they're <laughs> yeah, they're huge. Um, you know what was funny is we put them on. We put them on in like with an oversized hoodie. It doesn't look that stupid or I'm really stupid. One of the two. You know, because like baggy pants are having a comeback. <laughs> both it's but it might be both yeah it might be both it could absolutely be both yeah i'll need a cd walkman to fill up one of those huge pockets uh kaizo mario 64 isn't that good like that particular game but like i would play kaizo mario 64 hacks yeah for sure absolutely i would love to do that um i really want to try some of the odyssey Modded shit, yeah. Yeah, I really would like to try some of the Odyssey modded shit. That'd be really, really fun, you know what I mean? Uh, thanks for the new varieties on YouTube. Thank you so much for nine months. I really appreciate it. That sounds sick. Yeah, there's a lot of, there's a lot of Odyssey stuff out there. Yeah, there's a lot of Odyssey mods out there. I really like to try some of that shit. Um, you know, like all the custom stuff. Like I gotta give all the credit in this in the world of Small Ant and CJ and Crafty Boss for showing me, um, exposing me to a new world um, that I was not part of before. Yeah. You were surprised at how well Odyssey did on YouTube. Well, it's with one of the biggest YouTubers in gaming. A and B, it's super fun and unique and very exclusive, you know what I mean? Small Ant is probably, Small Ant's one of the nicest dudes I've met, man. I, I really appreciated him coming on my show, coming on my uh, thing. He didn't have to do that. I super fucking appreciated him just like setting up the, the thing for me and inviting me to do it. And yeah, no, he, he's legit incredibly nice, like super nice. I can't say enough nice things about him. You can clip it and clip it and show him like he's uh incredibly nice i'm super appreciative that he uh you know has let me be a part of really fun stuff he's doing yeah he's canadian what do you expect that makes sense yeah that makes sense <laughs> abyss abyss all right let's play let's play let's play um we have five levels left on this hat uh i've been it takes about each one of these exits takes an hour, hour and a half, you know? So in theory, if we played all day, we could get this, you know? I don't know how y'all are feeling. I know I've been doing a lot of variety today, but maybe, maybe we just Mario it out, I don't know. Yeah. All right, Abyss. All right, let's go. Let's do this. All right, so we're going to have to jump on that turtle shell right there. And then to the naked one. What's the shiny rock on the overworld? It's a crack rock. Oh, I need to do a full jump. Wait, that didn't work. All right, I got this. Uh, the shiny rock, yeah, I don't know what the shiny rock on the overworld is. Um, do I need, see, I feel like I need to not lose my mushroom there. I feel like I need to land all the way on that thing. This, this ROM hack is super freaking hard, by the way. Oh, I don't know what to do. Rig, thank you for 38 months. I don't know what to do there. Oh, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Oh. 
Oh, I fucked that up. Uh, I'm curious how, like, if Breath of the Wild 2 is going to have, like, the same glitches that Breath of the Wild 1 has. You know? Like, are they going to take all those out and make speedrunners find all new shit? I hate this. Um, what was the best thing you guys got for Christmas? I am very curious. Is this hack all shell jumps? Yeah, this hack's called Advanced Shell. Um, I'm a generic white girl in love. Um, in love shell jumps. I am just keep messing this up real quick. Oh, man. A black stone, 36 in, what's that? What's a black stone? I have no idea what I'm doing there. Or now door griddle. You got the Lego Titanic? How many pieces, is that the biggest one? Is that like the biggest Lego? I feel like I don't want to jump high up right there. Yeah. Is that the one with the most pieces? Is the NFL extension supposed to be active? No. Hold on one second. I will fix that. Boom. NFL extension no longer active. Over 9,000, you got the James Bond collector set? And Xavier Woods up, up, down, down, Funko? Aw. My boy, my boy Wood. The Lego Coliseum. Dude, putting together Legos is just a relaxing time, you know what I mean? Oh, whoops. Made you think it was Thursday? No, we had a game on Saturday. We had a game on Christmas Day. It was a great game. Uh, John Tyler, thank you so much. Whoops. Oh, I haven't. I haven't hit the timer. Boom. You still need to finish your Lego R2-D2? Oh, come on! Oh. This thing's hard, man. You fell in love with Lego again after building the NES and CRT? I haven't built mine yet. I still have my NES and CRT. Uh, John McCad, thank you so much. And all my um, Mario uh, Legos. Oh, come on. The extra week in the NFL is really throwing you off. I know. I kind of I kind of hate this bullshit 17 weeks. Whoops. You got the Game Boy version of Donkey Kong for Christmas? That's actually pretty dope. All video all classic video games are going to be worth millions of dollars one day. Yeah. January football phrase. <laughs> oh, I had it. Uh, thank you, Quigsley, for four months. Uh, yeah, it's a little weird, like, having this 
super long, super long thing. This game is easy. You're the creator. Uh, I don't think either of those things are true. Damn you. Uh, Albert Malaki, thank you for the gift sub to Damaged. You're getting really close to 69 of them. Um, thank you all so much for the love. I really appreciate it. All right. We're getting this shell jump. We're going right here. And we're done. Have a secret block. I need a good Mario Party game, chat. I'm ready. I'm ready for some Mario Party. I'm missing missing Mario Party. Oh, balls! I was too too over there. Do I have a good place for FX Pack Pro? I mean, Stone Age Gamer's great. Uh, Chris is great. Both of them are great. If you're in Europe, I'd probably go Chris. If you're in America, Stone Age Gamer is probably a little bit easier. Um, yeah. That's kind of how I would do it. Mm. You love Mario Party? It's so fun. Does Chris not sell them directly anymore? Crash some stream, recruit some partiers. No, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta do some work on this. Uh, Reiner, thank you for 10 gift subs. Holy fucking shit. I really appreciate that. Uh, happy holidays to you. Thank you so much. Double balls. Uh, alert, alert. Uh, an intro to save secret block. I don't know what that, I don't know what that means. You think there's a secret block in this level? There's not a secret block in this level. At least not one that's going to help me. Balls. Thought I had it. Thought I had it. Oh, I mean, I guess there is a secret level. But don't fucking... Don't backseat if there is a secret level. That's messed up. You're an asshole. You're a big dick. You're a big fucking dick. I just want you to know that. Well, here we are in the secret level. Do I wanna... Hold on. What do I want to do here? Um, do I want to hit it? I don't know where I want to hit it here. Oh, it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. I, I'm now I'm just doing the secret level instead of the original one. No, it's not a big deal. I'm not actually mad, Chad. I'm sorry. Uh, make sure you put it in the YouTube video that I'm not actually mad. Um, well, what do I want to do here?
I don't really... I don't think that's what I want to do. I don't think that's what I want to do. Maybe that? Screw my YouTube viewers. Whoa! Whoa, whoa. YouTube viewers eventually become Twitch viewers. They all they all eventually Twitch Prime sub, you know? They join the cult. All, all YouTube viewers come over and join the cult one day. That's what happened with you. How goes the Scrabble? Uh, I didn't play the last two days. I don't know what I want to do here. Uh, YouTube viewers feel like they're missing out on shell jumping. Anyone got a clip of who saying screw my YouTube viewers? Well, I mean, that's what I want to do. Okay, so I figured out what I want to do here. That's it. That's it. We got it. We got it. Wait, you think it's just this? <laughs> it is just that. Oh, yeah, that's a much better idea. Uh, that's a much better idea. What was I thinking? Actually, I feel like my way is faster. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, my way still worked, you know? Not that way. That's funny. That lines up way better than what I was doing. Uh, anyone able to Discord you how to PC this stuff? Wait, what? What does that mean? How do you PC what stuff? Uh, my way is definitely faster. This way is just intended. I don't even know if my way... Uh, I mean, I guess my way would be a little bit faster. Hold on. Yeah. Um, yeah, SMW dot... SMW Central is where you want to go. You gotta do, like, a... A serious thing. Uh, Mario Multiverse? Uh, Mario Multiverse is... You can look inside my chat, or inside my Discord for that one. Uh, this ROM is very hard. It is. How was my Christmas? It was great. Did my son freak out? He was a little overwhelmed, I would say. More than anything. Whoa, where do you... Where is he going? Where is he going? Does he do okay with Santa? We didn't get to see Santa the last two years. But he, like, he loves the idea of Santa and... Um, 
yeah. So I don't think he'd have any problem. He, I mean, but my son's not really like bad around strangers. You know what I mean? He doesn't cry around strangers. He only cries at home. Um, when we're out, he really just doesn't have any breakdowns or anything. We're super lucky in that. Like he's very, what do I want to say? Like wants to make a good impression on new people. I think he'd be fine with Santa, but yeah. Oh, come on. Ah, this one's hard. You got to get you got to get that shell jump like right at the right time. Um Yeah, I tried to get my dad to dress up as Santa cuz the dude looks like Santa right now, you know what I mean? So I wanted to have him dress up like Santa. But I don't think he was into the idea. I don't have... You have to apply to get into Mario Multiverse. Am I... Am I doing a yump there? Is that what's happening? Oh. Well, this game just has like mandatory yumps, baby. Oh, oh. fuck that up. Don't message me about it. <laughs> I'll never get back to you. Don't message me about it. Aww. It's cool to watch these sort of new hacks where you try them out. Well, you kind of... YouTube is a different medium. Basically, you're just getting, like, the best 10 minutes of the level. But, I mean, this shit takes a long time sometimes to eat, you know? Once one hack does mandatory yumps, they all do it. Uh, what was the first one? Oh um, my! Honestly, I don't mind yumps too much, but I don't think this is. Maybe it is a mandatory yump. No one can help you with multiverse. You have to just go apply, NL. There's nothing to help you with. Just go apply. You have to apply. Yeah, there's nothing to help you with, though. You gotta go apply. I killed you the other day in Babel Royale. had to be done. Yeah, they want a letter of recommendation. No, I'm not helping him. <laughs> it's more, it's exclusive. I have no control over it. I have no power in the Mario Multiverse universe. I hold no power anywhere in the Mario universe. I am a powerless Mario guy. Yep. A powerless, I am a powerless poo. I hold nothing. Uh, Daycan, thank you for 43 months. Oh. Um, and then I want to 
jump and do that? I have to go. You have to go back to getting ready for a Christmas party. And I wish our our tree's already down, dude. My wife took the tree down. Like we're done. Christmas is over for us. I miss I miss the week between Christmas and New Year's where you still had tree. A dysfunctional lady adult. Yeah, dude, she, we put the tree up on November 1st and we take it down on December 26th. Dude, my wife wanted to take the, no joke, she wanted to take the tree down, yeah, she wanted to take the tree down, um, Christmas night. And I was like, what? what? I still want to listen to Christmas songs. I'm okay with it though. Like we're moving on. We're getting ready. We're getting ready for New Year's. Just going to get a dog named Max. Max the dog is the purest soul. Valentine's Day stuff's going up at stores. Um, is Valentine's Day still a thing? I feel like the pandemic killed Valentine's Day. Like, it's like, honestly, like... Can I, can I tell you guys uh, a true story? Me and my wife never got each other anything for Valentine's Day. We've never done anything. Never gotten each other anything. We straight up do not celebrate Valentine's Day. Or our anniversary, actually. We did. We celebrated one anniversary one time, but that's just because we, we wanted an excuse to go to a music festival. It's a good excuse to eat well. Yeah. Come on. Oh. Valentine's Day is about teenagers buying uh buying their crushes plushies. Yeah, I think it may means more when you're a teen um and you're switching girlfriends every two weeks, you know what I mean? Oh, come on, man. Is that how I want to do that? I just, I'm not really sure exactly how I want to do that. I think that's it. You buy your boyfriend plushies? Uh, we got our son a Baby Yoda Squishimal. A Grogu Squishimal. Sorry, I don't want to make anyone mad. Uh, that's a hard section right there, I just want to say. This little key drop section, yeah. Uh, Pokemon plushies? Do they come in Pokeballs? I feel like anytime you buy any Pokemon anything, it should come in a Pokeball. I feel like that should like be a requirement. Like, if I was in charge of the Pokemon company, that's what I would do. But yeah, like a little, like, squish, squishy Pokemon ball on the outside. I mean, I, I, might, I might be better off just doing a, a yump here. I mean, I've seen mandatory yumps, but usually it's not, like, in the middle of a level. Uh, do 
do do do do do do do do ba dum bum bum Pokeball and a Pokeball, Pokeballs all the way down. What? I don't know what any of that meant. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? This level's tough as hell, dude. This is a crazy ass level. I don't even know what I want to do on that next part. Mega Gauntlet? Give weapons instead of plushies and it makes Valentine's Day so much better. What, you give each other, like, a nunchucks and stuff? Uh, I don't... I actually don't think I want to... Yeah, I don't think I want to, um, yump there. I don't think it wants me to yump. I think it wants me to just, like, get it right to the side, you know? Uh, third wall, what's going on? Balls. Uh, I feel like nerf battles, like, it's something I really want to get into with my son. I really am a big fan of, of nerf guns. Do I still play no pixel? Um, on occasion I log in, yes. Nerf guns are insane now? They are insane now. I mean, that's how weapon contracts go though, guys. You you gotta keep making bigger and better weapons, right? That's how weapons contracts go. Actual noob question, what is the yump? It's not a noob, well, I mean, not really a noob question, it's not a big deal. Um, it's a one frame jump off of P-Switch in Mario World, yeah. Yes, they, it's a frame perfect difficult jump. This is our life now? Listen, this is where we're at, chat. We're grinding, we're grinding a level like, we're at the club. Oh, God. Yeah, we're grinding a level like we're at the club. It's just how it bees. You always wanted to get the super soaker that had the big water tank backpack? One, two, one, G, aren't you having a baby right now? <laughs> are you, uh, are you, your guys are in the chill phase? It took, it, me and my wife, we were like, we were a bunch of hours. She's sleeping, shh. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, hold on. Oh my god. What the fuck is this level? <sighs> oh. This level's sick. How long did it take to get in a decent sleep sleep schedule? Uh, four months before the kids started sleeping all the way through the night. Oh. 
Uh, here's the here's the hard part with the first kid, okay? And I and I know for a fact we would not have this problem on the second kid. And not everybody has this, but I feel like most people have this. You're worried they're going to die every second. And you check to see if they're breathing all the time. So it's not even just that they're getting up every two hours. It's that you're getting up every half hour. Because you can't fall asleep without freaking out. Like, <gasps> you would literally wake up like that. What was I doing right there? Oh my god. Sounds like hardcore love. Yeah, you just you just freak out all the time. Yeah, wait till, wait till I see the last trick on this. And whatever. I mean, you know what? You just got to get good. I mean, that's just how it be. Is I just got to continue to get good. You have twins? Oh, God. I couldn't imagine having twins. My sister had twins. Just like... Ugh. If you're having twins, you need you need help. Like, man, you need you need a um, you need a parent there or something. Oh, damn it! Uh, you met a quadruplet once? Holy shit. <laughs> That's terrifying. Uh, this is a outcast, uh, long sleeve, and I fucking love it so much. So nice. My wife got it for me for Christmas. Is it so fresh and so clean, clean? Yes. The light up bookshelf was dope. Yeah, yeah, that was really cool. That was, I thought that was super sick. Um, well, I don't know. I think there's benefits to having kids old. There's benefits to having kids young. Damn it. Lunchbox DM, thank you for seven months. Anyway, yeah. Kids are wild. Uh, Kinnear, thank you for the Prime Gaming. I greatly appreciate it. Um, thank you so, 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 so much. Come on, you son of a bitch. Well, being an, being an uncle is just a shit. Damn it. Happy New Year's from Michigan. And it's kind of, it's, it's, 
kind of wild 2021 is gone. Definitely didn't feel like the longest year, of, the second longest year of my life. Oh, this hack's pretty. This hack's this hack's great. It's very, very, very difficult though. Yes. And it wears out the thumbs. It wears out the thumbs straight up. Oh. Eh, whatever. You just watched my Grand Poo World one vids? Yeah, no, you did spell that right. Yeah, dude. He was the man. He was great. Latch, thank you for 20 months. Who made this hack? Um, people you know, twins, seem to get it very organized very quickly. I... I just think it looks terrifying. Where'd I get that sick Ulba? Yeah, it's just because I have to flip the screen so I'm looking at the game. Yeah. It's your first time catching me live, but you would have thought by YouTube I would have beaten the level by now. Um, if I had a sub for every time someone said that joke, I would have 10,000 subs. Um, double... <laughs> Thanks, lad. Uh, stay awesome. Thank you for 16 months. Balls. Uh, yeah. Hard games be hard. I mean, really, here's the thing. I put the timer in the videos, right? So you know how time goes. Alberto, thank you so much for the gift sub. The joke may be tired, but we still love it. It's funny every time. There's some jokes, you know what? Some jokes just never, some memes never die. Damn it, I'm not getting all the way to the other side of this. Marbles? I feel like marbles is relatively died. But marbles has died for a number of reasons. All right, one, the switch in text to speech bot. Yeah. That's done it. My editor does a great job. I think he does pretty amazing. Can you get a poo stomp? No. You can't get a poo stomp. I'm not gonna stomp out my own SNES. Damn it. Was there ever a time where I didn't have an editor? Oh yeah. <laughs> Long time. Yeah, it was, dude. I was probably working like 18 hour days at that point. Trying to put out, you know, videos four or five days a week. Oh. What the fuck? I almost had it. Um, and streaming and then having a regular job. Oh. Yeah. Um, I didn't get an editor until a little bit after, but... Um, I've always had full-time editors. Um, at first, basically, like, the editor got, like, all the money. And still the vast majority of the money that's made in YouTube goes to, like, the editor. I really treat whoever my editor is. Like, instead of having a lot of editors, some people have, like, a lot of editors. I have one. And it's a full-time... 
pretty freaking good paying job. Oh, come on. Uh... But yeah. Damn it! Um, there's also some, like, downfalls to it, though. I mean, in, I mean, in a perfect world, I'd have two editors, and we'd be pumping out videos every day. And they'd be ridiculously high quality. Um, uh, but in all reality, uh, I mean, I just gotta be real, like, I don't put out... enough, like, really cool, like, crazy, you know, stuff that I need to. And the other problem is, when I do, because I have daily videos every day, you know what I mean? Like, um, when I do, sometimes, like, the really good stuff gets buried. Damn it. So, I don't know. Whatever happened to the randomly generated Temple Run game? That game's dope, and, um, nothing. I just stopped playing it for whatever reason. Yeah, I don't know. That game was really cool. You're looking for some advice was the best way to propose? Mm. That's different for everybody, man. The best way to propose is completely different for everybody. But what I would say is the best thing to do is make sure it reflects your relationship in some ways. You know, something that you guys do together often is a, always a good way to start, you know? Um... Make sure you get a picture of it. Yeah. Do I, am I doing these, it, it's possible I'm doing the key jump section wrong. No, that's worse. Yeah, like, something that you do often, like, we, I took my wife on the same walk we take our dog on all the time. That's all I did. Ah, why am I not catching this? It's like that needs, the on-off switch needs to be, like, one block over for me to get it, man. Yeah. Screenshot it in League of Legends. I mean, I've seen people do, like, Mario levels. You know, I've seen lots of things. But, um, I don't know. There's lots of stuff you can... I don't know, man. It's tough. It's tough. It feels like a, it, feels like it has to be a whole thing. Alright, there we go. Um, uh, if you're gonna propose, you already know the answer. I don't know. There's gotta be some people out there that still are just like, I'm just gonna ask. They're just terrifying. Is this gonna go on YouTube? Absolutely. It's just fucking terrifying, right? Dude. The asking girls to prom thing is a bigger deal than than most uh, engagements. They go all out for that shit. They do it for homecoming. Homecoming ain't shit, man. Nobody cares about a homecoming.
it's just stepped the game up too much. It's put too much pressure. Not everyone's that creative, man. Everyone on your follower list is streaming right now? How many people are on your follower list? You should follow more people. It's free to follow more people. It's like, the more people you follow, it's like adding channels onto your, onto your cable. It's great. Like, just because you never watched the League of Legends channel doesn't mean you shouldn't add it to your... You know what I mean? Doesn't mean I don't want it on my cable. Maybe someone's coming over one day that wants to watch it. Uh, HelloFresh is sponsoring on Twitch now, lol. Wait, what's the laugh out loud funny part of it? Oh. Everybody's sponsored. Everybody's on Twitch, man. Oh. I don't know if you know this, but Twitch is like, like number four on all of internet traffic at this point. Find like Netflix, Google, YouTube. As far as bandwidth taking up, it takes up so much bandwidth. I think it's me stopping right there. Uh, Kinotaro, yeah. Netflix is one, YouTube's two. I don't think anyone was getting mad. I, I just don't know the, the laugh out loud part, man. Oh, shit. You only have eight channels? Really? Are you sub to all of them? <sighs> this is tough, man. Sub to only one loyalty. <laughs> yeah, following's free. You should follow a lot of people. It's free. Doesn't hurt anything. You can turn off notifications. Just don't turn off my notifications. Obviously. Damn it! You follow most of the people I do things with. They're lovely. Oh, that makes me happy. You're sub to me and Ari at home. Ari's so good. I watched him yesterday for a little bit. God. Dude, getting this to line up is hard. You used to enjoy all my content. You still do, but you used to too. I appreciate that. I take it. I takes it. I takes what I can get. Oh, come on. WWFK, the meaning of life, the universe, everything. Is that subscription? Okay, I think I've I think I've gotten something here. Uh, the one from Bay. Wait, what are y'all talking about, Baywatch? I feel like I feel like kids that didn't live in the '90s have no idea how big Baywatch was. Yeah. Okay. Dude, Pamela Anderson. 
was like probably the most popular woman in the world. Like she was Kardashian level of fame for like five years, I'd say. Uh, do I want to let him kick it or do I want to throw it is the thing And then she married Kid Rock. Yeah, that was that was the beginning of the end for Pam Oh My goodness, what the fuck was all that? Did y'all see that? I had to like, I had to like, hold on, hold on. I had to like throw the shell up right there, right? Like I was right here. Well, it's more like, it's kind of more of an arch like that, right? And I had to throw the shell up. Its peak would be right there. And then I was right here, that Mario, and I was going to have to catch it right there. But like, over in the, like, next part. Yeah. That was wild. Yeah, I was just trying to add a little bit to the, um, add a little bit of, you know, flair to the stream, be able to draw on it, you know. I figured we've been doing so much NFL stuff, it would, could only help. Uh, I had a wonderful Christmas. I hope you had a great Christmas. You see what I did there? Yeah, I gave top tier technical analysis. I'm glad you saw that. All right. Damn it. Damn it. Drawing on screen, another big thing from the 90s. <laughs> That's what the stream is. Streaming technology has finally catch caught up to TV technology from the 90s. Who won the giveaway? I'm emailing them right after stream. Because I didn't get a chance to do it over the holiday weekend. Um, I know where they're at. I don't want to say their city yet. I want to get permission to use their name first before I announce it. And on top of that, I have to make sure that there are, you know, a real email that will respond. Um, because we have had to do redrawings uh, before. Um, but they are, I mean, I, in Colorado? I mean, I guess I could say that. So if you're in Colorado, I guess hold out hope. Uh, we're going to do another giveaway next month for an OLED switch. So Oh, fuck me in the dick. Ah. Dude, the Hylian shield's thick. I want to open my sword, but I'm going to wait till the new house. How about they be in Arizona instead? Well, I mean, if it, if it redrafts, if they get a redraft.
Oh, shit, man. I almost had it. Uh, Toranex, thank you so much. Uh, Finicky Nickity, thank you. Or Fort, Fort Nick City. <laughs> What's I fucking saying there? Thank you so much for the sub. How can I get a name so wrong? How can I get a name so wrong? Uh, thank you for the bit, too. I appreciate it. Where's my scam train? Where's my motherfucking scam train? Got to leave. Have a nice stream less than three. Damn it. Oh. Am I okay? It's it was a long it was a long holiday weekend. I took listen chat, I basically outside the football game I didn't stream for three days. You know how long not streaming for three days is for a streamer? Oh, come on. A weekend? I mean, yeah. That's a, that's a weekend for you guys. Streamers, though, we're not allowed to take time off. We don't get time off. We don't... I normally stream six days a week. Dude, why is the... Why are the P-Switch timers so tight? <laughs> God. Uh, thanks, uh, Toanic. I really appreciate it. Thanks for the sub, too. Uh, Kupio, thank you so much for the sub as well. Dude, the P-Switch timers in this game are just brutal. I like it tight. This game, this game is brutal. Oh, shit. How, how does one become a famous streamer? I don't know. I would ask, like, Ludwig or even Barb. Ah. I am a, like, rel in relative terms, I am kind of small. Yeah. Supposed to be minus 20 in Minneapolis for New Year's. Woo! Woo! It's super cold here. Yeah, we've had a, a lot of really cold days in a row. We got, we got a ton of snow right now. Yeah. First you get the khakis, then you get the girls, then you get the... Yeah. I don't know. Uh, I don't know, man. I Listen, listen. Can I tell you a little secret? This year, I lost viewership. So I don't fucking know, man. Don't, don't drastically change your games. Fuck. Weren't I in the top 50 in that Twitch league? No, not even close to the top 50, dude. I wasn't even in the top 100. I wasn't even in the top 150. How's the summers where I'm at? Freaking beautiful. Incredibly, ridiculously, insanely beautiful. The summers here are awesome. The winters are awesome, the summers are awesome. I love living here. Oh, come on. I'm in your top 10? Listen, as long as I'm in your top 10 and you sub to 10 people, I'm okay with it. I'm I'm number one, I'm your daddy. That makes me, number one makes me your zaddy. Talk your wife into the Tahoe area. Uh, I don't know if I can do that, but I love it there. Oh my god. 
I'm the biggest streamer you watch often. Well, that I appreciate. Um, uh, no, I mean it's just how it is. But Twitch is wild. I don't, I don't understand Twitch. I don't know how any of this works. I don't understand Twitch. I don't understand YouTube. I just play video games and shit happens or doesn't. And like, you know what I mean? There's just nothing I can do about it. I try not to worry about everything else. Streaming's fun. Oh my god, dude, these fucking... These fucking P-switches, man. These goddamn P-switches. Uh, I'm about, I'm about average, Eduardo. Yeah, Eduardo. About, a, about the same I was at the end of, um, no pixel, honestly. Yeah. You were the low cut V neck t shirt is the way to be, uh, becoming a big streamer. Uh, listen, I mean, I don't know why. A, A, like, here's the thing. We all, everybody uses something to get people to look at them, right? Because the hardest part about Twitch is just getting people to look at you. And big pictures of pretty people are something that. People will click to see how pretty is this person. The Whack Pegasus, thank you so much. I'm not saying it's right or wrong, but like, you know, it is what it is. People will, people click my stream that probably hadn't clicked in a while once they saw my mustache. And then once I shave it off, they'll click again. You know what I mean? Like there's all sorts of stupid things. If I could have Top Dong hanging out, I would use that to my advantage. Cause y'all would be like, holy shit, look at that. Look at that great dick. <laughs> you can't stand most huge streamers, like when chat scrolls too quickly. Like when I ask all the all my lurkers to say, uh, hello, is this too quick? Like something like that. Yeah. Not even that bad. Oh, man. Oh. Oh. Yeah, what's going on, Nick? I know it's not too quick because I can read everybody's names. Damn it, there's not enough lurkers for that right now. Thank you, lurkers. You can go go back to what you're doing. Yeah, go back go as you were, lurkers. As you were. I apologize. I apologize for abusing my power right there. Thanks, the sun was hurting your eyes. Uh, De Hammond, thank you so much. Oh, come on. You were working before you were summoned? Sub 30 minute dream was dead. What, for this level? Yeah, I, I knew we weren't getting sub 30. Just the way the game goes, man. Oh, balls. Sorry, pretending to work while pretending to watch a stream while actually pretending to play Splunky. Wait, what are you doing? Where do you work? Where do you work where you can do all this? Oh, no. 
What do I want to do there? Hold on. What was that shit? I don't even know what I was looking at right there. I landed on a key? Regular office job between Christmas and, and <laughs> Christmas and New Year's during a pandemic. <laughs> that's a, uh, I mean, that's a lot of, listen, I, I'm just happy I can contribute to the downfall of, uh, corporations, um, by you guys wasting time watching me instead of working. I, I'm just happy that I can do that. You know what I mean? You have to be available, but you're not really available, so you just have to, like, sit at your computer. Yeah. Fuck, fuck Bezos, too. Use your, use your prime. And a little, a little gnome goes and takes it right out of Bezos' pocket. Oh, balls. Oh, this level is um, something else, you know? It's a not an easy level. Yeah. Uh, I'm not a contractor. Radioactive Wabbit. And also, what's the best way to take him down than from the inside? Thanks, two wongs. One could say this is an advanced shell level. Dude, we've gotten no exit. No poo at GDQ this year? Nope. I mean, uh, the the panini really uh, put a damper into my um, my GDQ uh, motivation. Yeah, I was on GDQ channel a couple weeks ago. Yeah, but that was it. Okay. 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 What do I want to do? <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing there. What the fuck was that shit? I don't know what's I don't know what's going on there. The panini, the panorama, the punani. I'm over talking about it, so I don't I don't refer to it by name anymore. Yeah. The Pandora? Yeah, you can call it whatever you want. I'm just bored of it. I'm bored of the conversation. There's three conversations, you know what I mean? There are four conversations you have about it. They're all the exact same.
All right, here we go. There we go. Fuck me in the dick. You're not bored about talking about different things to call it, though? Yeah, that's fun. Come on, Pooh, focus mode. Do you think focus... Focus is not my problem. My problem right here is that hard level is indeed, in fact, hard. Yeah, that is the problem right now. Um, this, this hard level is hard. Damn it! YouTube who would have finished it by now? Yeah, because you guys won't sit. Because you YouTube audience uh, has no patience. It doesn't just accept garbage content anymore of just me just mindlessly unedited playing through this. They want, they would, they, they're like, uh, we can't spend any more than 10 minutes on a level. I don't care how hard it is or how interesting the conversation you're having is, is going. That's why, that's why YouTube who would have beat it by now. And that motherfucker's a time traveler. It's not fair. Okay. Okay. We have to get... We gotta get this guy up there, right? We gotta get this guy right up there. So... We have a shell and a key. What the fuck is this? I'm assuming we shell jump, right? Um, okay. So we jump up, we throw the shell up, right? We jump up, we throw the shell up, right? It's going to come back down. Okay. Jump up, throw the shell up. It will drop down like right there. We jump up with this key right here, right? And then we kind of like scoot over there. So this key will go over there and then we'll throw this key up, right? So we'll throw this key up and it's gonna land like in this area, right? It's gonna do something like, whoosh, like that, right? And then we're gonna be here off the key and that's where we're going to, to land or to grab the shell and then we're going to shell jump I don't think I don't know if that's how this works like it's clear we got a shell jump like it's clear we got a shell jump right there right like we take this like we take this shell and we shell jump over there that's clear Yeah. Like a double shell jump with the key in the middle? God, all that, all that, and I didn't even fucking get an attempt at anything. Strategy. All that build up and I didn't fucking do anything right there. Uh, no dread for AGDQ? Dude, even if there was dread, I wouldn't be the one running it. The big 7 0. Oh. Holy shit, 901 grind, you're on 70 months. That's a grind. Thank you so much. Oh. Oh, Awaken Anarchy, thank you for eight months. Nighthawk, thank you for 13 months. Wangry, thank you for eight months. Thank you guys so much. Oh. 
We're almost we're almost at a scam train. Orion Peanut? Thank you for that prime gaming. I didn't mean to fuck it up right there, Chad. That was an accident. Shut up. Yes, I feel stupid. Yo, Mr. Cafe, thank you for 66 months. Um, I think the problem with key jumping would be the moving part, you know? I didn't throw for content. I never throw for content. Yeah, I would never throw for content. 70 months is insane. 72 months is the longest, or 73 months is the longest streak we have. Oh, but! <sighs> but. Oh. You wish you discovered me long ago? Eh, I might have been a shittier streamer then. You never know. I mean, the stream certainly has evolved. You could have been a shittier viewer too back then. I there was no I had no shitty viewers back then. Did you lip read that as fucking bitch? Uh yes. Yes. I I definitely said. That is definitely what I said. I have shitty viewers now. Well, there's definitely some people out there that hate watch. I'd say that's more common on YouTube than Twitch, because hate watching on Twitch is a bigger commitment, and I have more active mods. You know what I mean? I'm just gonna try and do it all in one quick session. Yeah, views are views. Um, yeah, man, I don't care. Whatever. Listen, if you hate watch me or you watch watch me, you, you watch me. Yeah, that's totally okay. Listen, as long as you buy the merch, whatever. <laughs> Frank is Frank. If I could tell younger me something to stream better, what would I say? Um. Join, join gaming communities more. You know what I mean? Maybe I'm kind of a. Um, uh, I'm a little shy. So I know this sounds stupid, but I'm a little shy sometimes. Oh come on! Hate buy my merch. Uh, I'd also tell myself to join TikTok way earlier. If I could have. You know that TikTok thing? Just join it. It's gonna be huge. I also wish I would have started making. Yeah, don't don't ever start playing GTA. That's what I would have told myself. Don't play GTA. It's too good. You're gonna get addicted, and people are gonna hate it. And then when you stop, the people that didn't hate it are gonna hate you. It's just, you're screwed. Yeah, you gotta wait. Wait until you're retired to play GTA No Pixel. Like, you think it's something just like that? Like, I just go really quick? 
Like, we just do it all in one kind of sequence, chat? I kind of feel like that's what it is. You watch Twitch for the personalities and the games they play? I, I know. Well, I know, dude. Meeting Flo and Theo and Potato and, like, getting to play more Kate and everything. I mean, that's, that's the thing I miss about it. I miss them. Like, I don't miss like the server so much i miss like my friends on the server and then the friends you occasionally run into you know i got a thing from shelly she's like you didn't sheldon me did you i'm like no i didn't sheldon you but i kind of kind of sheldon you did i do anything cool for christmas um, balls. I hung out with my kiddo. Yeah. Barry was looking for a hacker the other week, tried to call Mick and cried. My brother's a hacker. I can hear him now. My brother. I mean, I don't even know if I could still hack in the game. It's been a while since I've done it. Hmm. I don't know what it wants me to do here, chat. Did boy have a cute Christmas outfit? Like, wh what is what does all these arrows mean? Shell up, key up, shell jump, key in the hole. That's what I feel like. Shell up, shell up. Actually, I think that might have been it. I think maybe something like that might have worked. I mean, up right, right, up left. That did feel close, didn't it? I mean, that did kind of feel close. Is this the first exit? No. This is exit 11, but this is a secret exit, so it might be a little bit more difficult. Yeah. Follow my heart. How long am I going to try this? What do you mean, how long am I going to try this? Like, wh what? Like, do you, do you just, like, if you're, like, you just don't get something after a certain point, you just quit? Something you spent time on and really care about, you just quit? Yeah, what, what, what? what? How long are you going to try this? Yeah, you try it till you fucking get it. What do you mean? At first you don't succeed, quit and try an easier ROM hack. <laughs> yeah, this is not, this is not me. I don't know, I kind of want to speed run this game. Yeah. Uh, big boy John Harden, thank you so much. <laughs> I 
I don't get it. Uh, trying to use your ROM hack sounds like valid advice. Uh, when you're starting out, maybe. Um, valid advice for one that may have not done much. Kind of just gotta just get good though. You know what I mean? Here's the thing is that one day you're just gonna play a ROM hack that just pushes your shit in. And then after you beat that ROM hack, every other ROM hack won't feel that bad. Kind of, that's really the only way to do it. You just gotta play a game or a level, preferably even just one level that just absolutely utter destroys you. Yeah. Uh, Chaos, thank you for 13 months. This looks like a bad first one to try. Yeah, I don't know if I'd play this one first. So many people were like, oh, Sonic saves the world first. I'm like, oh, no. That ROM hack miserably hard. That ROM hack varies from being extremely hard to so doable. Every level destroys you, you must be doing something right. Uh, I mean, it's just part of learning, you know what I mean? It's just like, part of it. What are my thoughts on Grand Pooh World 2 as a first hack? I think you will spend a lot of hours on it. Yeah, it's gonna take me a while to get that. Yeah, it's gonna take me a while to get that. I'm just gonna be real. It might be easier for me to just key jump up there, honestly. Uh, but I kind of want to do whatever it wants me to do. Yeah, you have to be holding the key for it to go in the hole. You can't just throw a key into a hole. I've had a six Chrono Trigger or Earthbound. Chrono Trigger is my favorite of those three, but I mean, I really like all three of those games. I think Earthbound's actually the weakest gameplay-wise, but probably the strongest story-wise of the three. Oh. FF6 is probably the worst of the three, and I think FF6 is fucking awesome. I think FF6 is the best Final Fantasy ever, so... We just need to go faster. I don't feel like I'm gonna get high enough there, though. The white bottle looks sick. Uh, yeah, my wife got it for me for Christmas because I love water bottles because I drink water on stream all day, every day. I have a liquid diet of water, Red Bull, and juice. Uh, all right, 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 all right. Um. I need to get. I need to like get out more with the shell. Yeah. You feel I have to do the same shell throw I did before, but getting the key? 
I don't, I know, I know, D-Rock, I know that might have sounded really, like, profound in your head. But I just want you to know that I don't think it made much sense. Like, out in the world. Uh, Ian Sayer, thank you so much for five months. Shit! Nothing to get, nothing to do with the P-Coin, yeah. level teach you each gimmick for the stage this level okay this level this game does not give a fuck about you the player at all this level this game is wants to do flashy shell stuff there's nothing there's no there's no level design tactics being used here it just wants hot ass shell tricks guys Oh. It actually wasn't that bad. I think that's what I think we're on the right path. I'm just got bad timing. Yeah. Uh put Kalit it. Yeah, this game's assuming that you're really fucking good at shell jumping. Listen, it's not called Shells 101, baby. It's called Advanced Shells. This is the calculus of of shells. Ultimate shells. Uh, yeah, this one is not, this one is not a, like, well-designed, like, this one's, like, flashy. Yeah. Like, not that it's not well-designed. I don't want to say it's not, like, well-designed. But it's not, like... You see a lot of ROM hacks now that, like, follow the principles, the quote-unquote principles of game design. And this is definitely more of an old-school, like, let's see how good you are at Mario style hack. Yeah, exactly. This, this game's not designed to teach you. Like, this game is assuming you're coming in with knowledge of everything that's happening right now. Yeah, it's figured out, fuck your shit up. Type of hack, yeah. Oh, yumps, frame perfect tricks. We don't give a fuck. Iso blocks, they gonna happen. You know what I mean? Yeah. It does. That does sound like a community episode. Advanced shells. Advanced, advanced influencer. Yeah. Was actually pretty close chat it was just i threw the shell probably a little too far no you know who would be secretly good at kaizo pierce pierce would have been the one that's secretly good at kaizo chat he would have used it to his evil advantage. Oh, damn it. You're getting constrained? Consistent? Yeah. Uh, we're getting close. We're getting close. We're seeing the end. The end is near. Oh, man. 
The problem is, like, dude, I have to take a break after each one of these fucking levels, man. How was my Christmas? My Christmas was amazing. Yeah. Uh, we had a lot of, a lot of fun with my, with my munchkin. Are we gonna do Babel Royale later? Uh, maybe, I don't know. I kind of want to beat this game today. Yeah, I kind of really, really, really want to beat this game today. Um, we're not too far. I mean, we only had five exits left, and this one I'm assuming is one of the harder ones since it's the hidden exit. But I'm making a lot of assumptions there. Oh my god! Right there. Luigi will do anything to win. I like how Luigi's been transformed from kind of like a lovable goof to like hardcore competitive dickhead. You know what I mean? All with what all all by Mario Kart 8. Mario Kart 8 just turned Luigi into an asshole. Yes. All right. That part's hard. Any Fall Guys today? Uh, I don't know. I'm definitely back into Fall Guys, though. I really, really enjoy playing Fall Guys again. Um, I will say that. God. Right there. All right, this is definitely one of the harder levels in this hack. Any return to Fall Mania? No, probably not, chat. The problem with Fall Mania is that nobody was watching it towards the end, so it's really not <laughs> beneficial to do. People were watching my normal Fall Guys streams more than Fall Mania towards the end of it. Oh, oh my god. Dude, I love Fall Guys, yeah. You miss Snowbike Mike? Girl, same. What about Babel Mania? Now that is something I would love to do. Dude, I love Babel Royale. Babel Royale is so good. Start of the other day. People get weirdly hostile when their streamers lost. Dude, if you were around during No Pixel, you would understand that people are crazy about their streamers. Uh, which I appreciate. You know, like passion. That's how you know they got real fans. Um, I mean, I also think there's like something like, you know what I mean? Like, when you watch a streamer, like, you know, when you really get to know a streamer you want them to succeed like you know what i mean you you do there is a certain amount of that's why you sub to them that's why you support them that's why you retweet their stuff you know what i mean you're somewhat invested in their in their success you know what i mean you want to you're you're invested in it and you're happy to be a part of it so when they get opportunities you know you want those opportunities to be taken advantage of yeah I want you all to succeed. I want my friends to succeed, you know? I want I want my crew to succeed for sure.
Yeah. Adopt all your all your favorite streamers. Um, the parasocial relationships are still relationships. You know what I mean? Well, yeah. I mean, I think that's part of it. Like, you invest your time into seeing the succeed or the streamer grow. You know, like that's totally like you're you're part of it. I mean, you guys listen. I'm not a the reality of it. I don't get to do this full time because of me. I get to do it full time because of you. Oh my god. I can't grab the shell. You just gotta grab the shell. But that's the reality of it. I, the streamer, am not shit without you, the viewer. Does that make sense? And I see streamers forget about that all the time. Even ones that shouldn't because they don't have, you know, enough viewers to forget about that. Uh, but, like, I am not what makes the community great. I am not what makes anything. You know what I mean? That's you guys make that. Yeah. Um, I am probably one of the laziest streamers in all of Twitch land when it comes to, like, interacting outside of the stream. Well, yeah, it's hard. I mean, it's hard to fake it, like, because you're on so much as a streamer. So, like, your, your natural, uh, your natural, like, um, whatchamacallit? personality will shine through to a certain point uh but i will say like burnout happens and so you'll see people sometimes be a little bit more horny than they horny not horny no grab the shell you bitch mario if you could just grab the shell right there then we're good people get burned out and horny no burnout and horny horny that's a word, right? Some people are very likable. Yeah, I have this problem that people get horrible first impressions of me. I think it's... I think it's the hat, honestly. I think it's the hat. I don't know if the mustache is helping or hurting it. It's the hat, not joking, it's the hat. Damn. Nothing I can do about that, man. I've been wearing hats for so long. If I stopped wearing hats on stream, you guys want to play an experiment? Right now? I'm going to take off my hat. Okay, I'm going to take off my hat. I'm going to stream without my hat. And we're going to see for, for 10 minutes. And we're going to see how many people... How many people come in and they say, where's your hat? And they say, where's your hat? Right? Right? What are you doing? Where's your hat? Oh, my God. Who is this? All of you are already in chat, so you're in on it. It's, it's going to be new people in chat. Yeah. People are gonna freak the fuck out. This this on the YouTube video, people are gonna lose their mind. I don't know if this is a better first impression, honestly, with the mustache. 
Watch the viewership numbers spike. Oh yeah, once I get once the no hat goes into the, the Twitch thumbnail. Oh wait, here's what I'll do. Here's what I'll do. We go into just chatting, so it goes into the Twitch thumbnail. What is going on? Viewership's going viewership's going down. <laughs> Where's the swag hat? Only followed for the hat. Where's my hat? Grunt long. <laughs> I do look like the villain. Yeah, dude. I don't. I think I. I can't go no hat with the mustache. Like no hat with the mustache. This is not. This is not a look right now. I gotta shave the stash. Stash gotta go this week. Yeah, the sash has got to go. Atlas Poo, confirmed evil. It's all that anyone will talk about until I put the hat back on. Yeah, so I'm stuck with the hat. That's the point, though. I'm stuck with it. It's like, it's like part of me now. Damn it, dude. Your girlfriend looked at the TV and said, what the fuck? He shaved his head. My head's always been shaved. My head's been shaved since I was 13. Oh. <laughs> no one ever cared till I put away the hat. I should start wearing like visors or like a fedora or something like just to fuck with people. What the fuck's going on here? Red Bull Fedora? Dude, they definitely have Red Bull Fedoras. Are you kidding me? They definitely have Red Bull Fedoras. Yeah. I have so I have a little app. I have an app on my phone. A Red Bull app. And um, it's like for athletes only. And it's really cool because I can it has literally every every Red Bull athlete and all their information. Like, so, like, if I ever wanted to text Travis Pastrana, I totally have his phone number now. Um, and, um, you know, they do that so, like, you can collab with people, different people at different times, yada, yada. It makes it really easy, you know? Like, if you're going, if you're a rock climber and you're going to a different country, you can find the rock climbers in those countries, you know what I mean? Damn, oh, my God, why can't I get this? Um, but it has... That also, that's also how we get like our Red Bull clothes, you know what I mean? Um, so it's just like literally like I just go on the app and I just order whatever I want and they send it to me. Sometimes it's like luggage or I got some beach towels. You can get whatever you want. They just send it to you for free. Um, and they definitely have fedoras because a lot of the, they have like break dancers and stuff and they wear fedoras, you know? Uh, like. For me, they started making more flat bill hats because I wear flat bill hats, so they were like adding more flat bill hats. Doors, yeah. How am I today? I'm really, really, really awesome. It has like different, like different people can go and take pictures and be like, "This is a dope spot. You can do this. You can do that." You know what I mean? And then it has like what's like the big news in Red Bull that weekend. You know what I mean? So like lately, it's been all F1 stuff. Um, so we're all over this, right? Yeah, we're all over this, right? <laughs> yeah, they're great. They're amazing. As far as like, with athletes, you know what I mean? They're the best.
Damn it, dude. I can't grab this, re-grab this shell. You bet other athletes are hitting me up constantly? No. No, they don't really interact with the gamers unless they're forced. No, that's their thing. Can I please put the hat back on? No. Oh my god, I was I caught it too high. Can I please stop pretending and just pick my head? What are you talking about, dude? I've got... I'm nowhere near balding yet. This is the same... This... How is this, like, a balding thing? This is the same cowlick I've had since I was a kid, dude. Or, sorry, uh... Widow's Peak. Yeah. Nobody in my family's gone bald. I don't really think it's gonna happen for me. I kind of wish it would. Um, but picking my hair would be... Like, the thing is, I shave my head because it's easy, right? And bicking my head would be a lot harder than that. Yeah. Uh, I try to do it, like, once or twice a week, but I haven't done it in, like, a week. So, it's a little long right now. I'm gonna lose my hair when I'm in a lot of dude, a lot of stress and no sleep. Well, then I'm gonna gain hair because I've been getting some of the best sleep of my life lately. Yeah. This is the long chat. This is the longest I've played on stream without a hat and like. I don't know. <laughs> Six years, probably. <laughs> Long hair poo would look awesome. Eh. My hair is like completely straight is the problem. Like it's just like boringly straight. Like long, long, long hair. Like wrestler hair? I don't think I could pull that off. Mm -hmm. My timing on this is just difficult. Where's the hat? What hat? What are you talking about? I've never wore a hat before. Yeah, I've literally never wore a hat on stream ever before. You're remembering me wearing a hat. That's like a shared psychosis you have. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna gaslight my chat right now. I'm not gonna. Yeah, you're Mandela affecting. Yeah. Yeah, Order wears a hat. I don't know what you're talking about. Wow, did you guys see that? I didn't even know that was possible. I kind of wonder, can I replay that? Shit, wrong replay. I don't know what you're Damn talking it, wrong about. Wrong replay. Oh, well, I guess it did. Wow. Wow. Did you guys see that? I didn't even know that was possible. I don't know what 
know what you're Wait, talking about. Where are we going? Wow! Did you guys crazy. see that? I didn't even know that was possible. Yeah, I didn't know you could pick something up like that. That was a that was a wild frame perfect move. I kind of yeah, it was a bit too frame perfect. Yeah, I just had no idea you could do that. Task confirmed. That was a fucking task thing. I fucked up the replay right there. I got I have like 42 replay scenes is the problem. I picked the wrong one. I'm sorry. I'm still getting used to it. I'm still getting used to all the new doohickeys I have. All right. Good first impression of me cuz I don't have a hat on. Alright, I need to put the hat back. <sighs> Do I set up my own capture tools? No, uh, yeah, I've made I made the replay system and um, the whiteboard tools, but they're like they're like stuff you can download and set up. Am I mistaken in thinking you can just sh carry the shell through the coins at the end instead of throwing it over um there i don't know why it wants me to throw it over uh you the thing is the one thing i would say is that you might hit the so a lot of times you have like bad sprites where you'll hit the thing you're jumping off of so where did that other guy go i don't know I felt, I felt weird, Chad. I felt like, this is gonna sound weird. I felt like naked and exposed playing on stream like that. Hat off or riot? I don't know, the, su the subs went way down for the hat, when the hat was off, so. It's, it's my gimmick, I'm stuck with it. I think I let go of jump. That was my problem there. Oh. <laughs> I have nightmares that I can't find my hat. I pretty much only wear a beanie. <laughs> I was naked and afraid. I was exposed. I felt like you guys could see my soul. Oh. Oh. We lost like 150 people without the hat, actually, viewer-wise. Oh, well, what are you gonna do? Oh. <laughs> really? How's that even possible? Yeah, I don't understand Twitch. <laughs> You'll run out of peace speed time. Wait, what are you talking about? Oh, yeah, right here. Yeah, I just do... I just do it because, like... I'm not just gonna kill myself. Yeah, I'm full. I'm fully aware. Grand Blue World Three, no hat. It's tough. It's tough.
They should do no hat 24 hour stream at 10k sub. Well, I already am. I, I'm doing a 24 hour stream early in November. Or early in February, sorry. Probably, this, I think, like the second week of February. Ah, fuck me in the dick. Fuck, 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 fuck me in the dick. I can't get it in. Fuck me in the dick. I just want to put this key in the hole. I just want to put this fucking key in the hole. I just want to put this key in the hole. Put this key in the hole. Put this key in the hole. I want to put this key in the hole. I am the key master. Plot twist is the wrong key. But we've got the level down. It's just this last trick. What's this last trick? How do we do it? possible I want to just be doing this all in one motion, you know? Yeah, Art James, that's what I'm trying to do. Never let go of the key? You think I never let go of the key? Ah, oh, dude, I don't think the shell jump's gonna get that high. Do you need to jump lower to save more things and juggle off the left side? What? No. He re-grabs like that one bullshit level. I mean, that's the thing is like, I guess I could do it. All right, let's try this. Well, I didn't fucking get that at all. Save save? No. No. I honestly like key jumping key jumping into the wall three times might be a better idea just because at least then I'd know what I'm doing. <laughs> imagine a key, imagine a hole. But I wanna do the real trick, you know what I mean? It's one of those moments where I wish Missed when we used to, you know, just all accept watching videos of endings. Hey Pooh, your stash is mediocre compared to Barb. Still got mad love for you, homie. Who the fuck comes in and- Hey! Hey, I didn't know we were in a stash contest. B, who the fuck comes in and says something like that? You know what I mean? Can I just tell you good about Hood? Your username is mediocre, and your gameplay is below average compared to mine, and your lovemaking uh, is garbage um, compared to mine. So there we go. Do we got it? Jeez Louise, man. Yeah, I had it first. Who cares? Oh. 
I get it. Like, every, everybody loves Barb more. Like, there's nothing I can do about that. But we're not the same person. We're not the same streamer. We're not in competition with each other. So it's like, I don't, I, I, I don't know what else to do. I love him too. He's one of not my favorite streamers. No, please watch everybody. He's not my competition. I can't compete. I couldn't compete anyway. Follow just to say, don't be so touchy about the stash. I'm not touchy about the stash. I'm done with you, man. <laughs> Tambro chill. I was making a joke, you son of a bitch. Listen, you're banned. You're banned. Who's that other guy? Who's that other guy who's got love for me? He's banned too. You're all banned. All right. Shut the fuck up. You're all banned. Listen, if this thing doesn't turn you on sexually, get out now. I go shave it in the middle of the fucking stream. You won't? I wanted to shave it last night, but I was fucking lazy. And now I can't because these motherfuckers are gonna be like, oh, we got to him, look at that, we got to him. So now I'm stuck with it for another day. Uh, what do I want to do here? Ah, I fucked it up. Meted it? I meted it. Uh, would I ever rock a goatee? Fuck no. Dude, I could never, I could never grow hair. I, yeah, I grow, I grow like super straight hair. I couldn't grow like a nice curly, a nice curly rock star mane. Yeah, I couldn't do that. I should turn my stash into an NFT. <laughs> oh, make an NFT series of me with just a bunch of dumb facial hair. <laughs> uh, shave it in the middle of stream? No, I'm not gonna shave it in the middle of stream. That was a joke. You only do that, you only do that when you put up like a sub incentive or something. Is my power glove SMB3 clear my real hair? No, that was a wig. Just shave half of it off, then no one wins. I, I, it's mostly, I don't know what to do with this key. The good news is let me get a little bit consistent at the level. Oh, uh, I don't know. Just shave it off the side? No, I don't think I'm going to go with that. Chaff and the mustache is the least fashionable. <laughs> I mean, listen, I think it's gone past 
a good look. I, I would totally agree that I think it's gone way past the good look. Uh, but it was never meant to be a good look. And it kind of just happened. And then we, then we shaved it off. And we brought it back because I got bored and lazy. Yeah. All right, all right, all right, all right. Reclaim the chaplain stash? No, and, and I can't, I don't know what you see. I can't, I don't have any in the middle anyway, so I wouldn't reclaim the chaplain stash anyway. And also, this is not the year that you can do that. You know what I mean? We're, we're, a, we're a few years away from that. Yeah. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh my God. I have no idea what to do here, chat. I just wish I, like, I almost want to see a video of the end. I, like, I'm just, I have no clue if I'm trying the right thing or what. Oh. Lost the part in the middle from too much friction? Yeah, from um, going down on all of your mothers to completion. Yeah, every one of them, one by one, lined up. Ah. <laughs> Your mother would love that? Oh, she did. Hopefully those mothers aren't deceased. If they are, we use some uh, Sabrina the Teenage Witch Juju to bring them back. Just to pleasure them for one evening and then sent them back on their way as a ghost. Happy and satisfied. Something they never, something the mothers never were about you when they were alive. Shit, that was fucked up. <laughs> I'm sorry. Couldn't clear on that. I tried to. I wanted. I wanted to get the clear on that. Honestly, that joke was gold. <laughs> That's what editing's for. Yeah, I don't know how you would have edited that one out. You know what I don't think people talk about enough, chat? This is serious. Uh, there's a ghost that sexually assaults someone in the original Ghostbusters. And honestly, my biggest surprise, there's only one ghost that does that. Yeah. In a room full of people, no less. I have no idea what this game wants me to do. So I'm just getting to the end over and 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 over again. There's a ghost that ghost sexually assaults someone in Scary Movie 2. Stand on this block? What am I gonna do there? Just key jump? I mean, dude, I'm kind of feeling like that might be the play, honestly. 
What would I need? Like, honestly, like two key jumps? Banana Pop, thank you for telling me to do the thing that I've been trying to do here for an hour. I appreciate that. That really, that really, really helps. Like that was close. Yeah, I feel like that was close. jumping a little too early is that what's going on am I just jumping just a little too early right there oh bitch use the force exactly like that but better okay close your eyes and it might make it work coming just a little too early listen I've never came just a little too early either a lot of too early or a lot of late no in between G soaps I'm blind and what am I what am I missing have I tried to beat a game with my eyes closed uh no um the real the thing with like blindfolded runs really is just like Finding walls and shit that you can use to like rebalance yourself over and over and over again. That's the real key to it. Perhaps I'm not throwing the key early enough? Yeah. Perhaps I'm not throwing the key early enough? Yeah, but that's what it really is. So, like, the reason that, like, Mike Tyson's punch out is so easy blindfolded. Not easy, you know what I mean? I don't want to insinuate anything's easy. But one of the easier games blindfolded is because Little Mac always goes back to the same spot. Do so you always know where Little Mac is? All right, so then if you can get find sound cues for pretty much everything else, sound cues or time cues, you're good because you always know where Little Mac is. That's the hard part about games is like you don't know where you're at. That's why Kaizo games are really hard because there's not like a wall I could run into and be like, I'm on this key. You know what I mean? I'm on this key. I don't think that was 
use it anyway, chat. Do I want to jump and do it? I just don't know. Well, whoever said the last thing in this level was hard was not joking. We don't get high enough if you don't catch a shell. Have I tried giving the shell a chili dog? Ah, that's the wrong game reference. Honestly, I'm like contemplating. I feel like I should just fucking key jump up there. To be what? Two key jumps? <laughs> Tried contacting a lockpicking lawyer? Ooh. I don't think lockpickers uh, lock are lawyers. I'm pretty sure you get in the lockpicking business by being a criminal. You know what I mean? Some businesses that you get, yeah, I'm pretty sure you're a criminal before. Unhealthy Kale, thank you so much. Pat Pat, thank you so much. Hidden Wifey, uh, Pasucci, uh, Grunt Lenner. Oh, he's a YouTuber? Oh. He doesn't know lockpicking lawyer shaking my head. You know what? Go on lockpicking lawyer's content right now and be like, do you know who Graham Pooh Bear is? And if he says no, then tell him to suck my fucking dick. You're a noob. He's a huge fan of yours. He's watching right now. Oh, well then tell him not to suck my dick. I don't know what to do. And it's hurting my hand. Chat, if I just didn't, if I would have had a, no, a normal, a normal, um, right there, just a normal everyday shell jump instead of the hit jump that I got, we would have been in business. Can you maybe shell jump off the left wall instead? I mean, I could, but what's that going to do for me? level and it's gonna make a ton of fucking sense once we get it it's gonna be like oh why didn't we just do that to be doing that to begin with you throw the key into the right into the hole you can't just throw the key into the hole have you ever tried to throw a key into the hole? Go outside your house right now and try to throw a key into a hole. You can't do it. Never been done. Why would you think that something so unrealistic could be done in the world of Mario? A world based in realism. Remember when I was like, 
Remember when I was like, oh, I really want to beat this game today, chat? New goal. New goal. Beat this fucking level today. Oh, I held jump the whole time that time. It's a turn back. Oh. Listen, can I tell you guys something? When people just start saying, what if it's a, and then just spits out slightly advanced Mario terminology without any idea of, of what it could actually be, just for the hopes that they got it right and they could get a little bit of admiration drives me crazy. <laughs> what do you mean, what if it's a turn back? What does that mean? I was way too far over. I threw that way too far. <laughs> what are these arrows even trying to say? It's like reading hieroglyphics, man. It's like reading is straight up hieroglyphics. thing I could think of is that maybe I'm just not supposed to be doing it in a like like maybe it wants me to throw the shell up so I can do it all in one kind of motion yeah overcoming that's what I'm trying to do What I'm trying to do! Oh, it's so late. <sighs> Just like the timing of it's like super awkward. You need P-Speed? Where are you going to get P-Speed? See, that would be another example. What piece of- what piece of ground in this level can I get P-Speed on? That's a legitimate question. See, that's why it wants you to throw it up right there. You try throwing the key up first in a shell jump? How would you do that? Uh, Brelio. What would you jump off of then? No, Total Scrub, we've tried that a bunch of times. We, just, we get like two blocks too low, yeah.
Just throw the key. Dude, you just left to watch Deadpool, came back, and you're still on the same level. Damn. Um, yeah, hard level hard, man. That was it, dude. That was it. I just didn't grab the shell, man. I just didn't grab the shell. That one was it, though. That one was it. Oh. Uh, this is advanced shells. It's a really, 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 really hard shell something hack. This is the longest, this is the longest level it's taken me though, and it's just this, it's literally just this final part. I need to throw the key earlier so I can re-grab the shell. I'm not throwing the key early enough? I don't think. Advanced seems like not an extreme enough word. Uh, this is the first or second hardest shell hack I've ever played, yeah. Which are among the hardest hacks I've played. I'm an idiot. I'm so stupid. <laughs> what an easy mac takes doesn't it take like four minutes to make an easy mac because you got to let it cool down too uh no such thing as too easy mac What's going on barb I'm not grabbing the shell. That's that's my problem here. <laughs> I'd be holding to the hat chat. I can't if I take it off, you guys freak out, everyone loses their mind, riots happen. They ban me from Twitch. I need to throw the key earlier. That's my problem is I'm not throwing the key anywhere near early enough. So I'm not grabbing the fucking shell. That's my that's my problem. I need to throw the key like as soon as I fucking take off. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, well, that's what's funny. Like whenever anybody sees my video of pee break. So when I beat pee break, I didn't have a hat. Yeah. That was before, before I wore it. The only reason I started wearing a hat on stream is because the first day I got 100 viewers, I was wearing a hat, and I said, I woke up the next day and said I'd do the same thing that I did. I did everything the same. That was the only reason. I didn't throw the key up fast enough, chat. Chat, when I get there, say, throw the key fast. 
Yeah, that's that's a true story though. The 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 way the whole hat meme started was the first day it, I just happened to be randomly wear a hat the first day I got 100 viewers, and I woke up the next day, and I I told my wife I was like I'm just gonna do everything exactly the same that I did yesterday. Played the same shit, did that, and I just that was it, and that's how it started. For a while, it was only a Detroit Lions hat. Yeah, for a while, I only wore a Detroit Lions hat, and then I wore... And I got some video game hats, and viewers started sending me hats, and it became this whole meme. And Red Bull bought the right to the hats. And now here we are. Oh, balls. A superstition? Yeah, kind of. I mean, I'm, I'm like... I'm, I wouldn't say I'm not not a superstitious person. Or maybe a creature of routine, one of those two. Like every, like I usually, you know, have relatively the same breakfast. All right. Well, I threw the key fast, just not up. Do I get free tickets to Red Bull events? Um, I mean, yeah, if I want to go, sure. I mean, but I think literally every Red Bull event is free, so. I don't I can't think of one that you need to buy tickets to anyway, so. Yeah, they're all, they're all free. Kind of their thing. I let go of jump, I think. Oh, heavy's the high lane shield. Uh, yo, I couldn't, I couldn't be rocking it one armed for that long. I tell you that. If we're, if I ever get in a battle, zombies ever break out, and I'm using that high lane shield. Um, it's got to be a small battle. Come on, move! Let's go, move! I just want this move to work! Alright, I'm gonna try no jump again. I think. Maybe? Oh, God. I give up, dude. I give up! I have no idea what to do. Like, I mean, I know what to do. But I just don't know how to effectively do it. Oh. Save state and practice that section? Do I look... Does Grand Pooh Bear look like a bitch to you, NVL Ghost? Do I look like a bitch to you? Do I look like a bitch? Say it again! Yeah, we didn't get high enough with that. I guess I could... After I get it once, then I can save, save, and practice it. Alright. <laughs> no, we haven't got high enough. That got heated? It was, it was a joke. Yeah, we're like two blo like two blocks short on that jump. I I definitely need like a normal shell jump. It's the only height I can get. That's that's the one thing I'm I'm pretty positive about, but I just haven't gotten high enough, yeah. Think of it like a double shell jump. You know what? You would think that that would be easy, and that's how I was approaching it at first. But the key doesn't like you don't like get far enough over. And then I also think like maybe I just need to just do it all in one motion. 
I'm just not sure. Yeah, I'm just not sure. It's just so awkward. It's it's very awkward. Dude, this whole hack's really hard. This, this, this move, though, I've spent more time on this move than a lot of the other hacking. A lot of the rest of the hack. Oh, I'm an idiot. I need to go much faster on that. Yeah, this hack is extremely unforgiving and difficult, and I fucking love it. Bitch on me, bitch, 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 bitch. The good news is, is that when you have that, when you have something like that happen, chat, you can, you can kind of just, you get really good at the level, you know what I mean? Gotten really good at the rest of the level, yeah. <laughs> See, I don't think I would have made it, I don't think I would have made that either, though, you know? I don't think I would have been high enough. Hold on, chat. We're gonna we're gonna do a little experiment. Idiot. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, it might be easier for me to just learn how to key jump real quick. Yeah, that's that's what I've been thinking, but I want to see how I want to see how hard this is. I mean, not learn to key jump, as you know. I know that's that's what we've been that's what we try oh, trust me we've talked about the key jump but i want to i want to know what the fuck this like i want to see this move you know what i mean like it's i'm i'm stubborn at this point yeah so that'll get me high enough that's all we need to do chat Yeah, that's all we need to do. Just we just gotta get high enough, chat. Do 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 bum bum. How did that guy die? It's just that easy. Do that shell jump just like I did it. I know, like I wish I could um I wish I could throw the shell. I wish I could throw the key, get back on that one spot. If there wasn't a muncher there, it'd be done. We'd be over. Easy peasy. That muncher below the key is just a killer. Oh. 
You think you need you you think I think you need to shell jump to the left. NVL. I think and I'm gonna be as nice about this as possible. That you are fucking wrong. And there's no earthly concept to why shell jumping to the left would work. Why would throwing a shell jump left work? Yeah. Why why would that work? Why why would creating more distance between me and the keyhole have any sort of help in concept? That is an example of just saying something with no idea of a basis of reality, hoping you could be right, so then you could be like, ha, I'm smarter than streamer. You're not! <laughs> yeah, what are you gonna shell, Why, what are you shell jumping off of? The Halo guy, thank you so much. WK Scar Cave as Josie Wales, Gilligan as Silent Camper, Another Carl, I really appreciate it. Who till? Beyond till. I'm tilted. I'm tilted. Maybe I need to just throw the shell. Maybe I need to throw the shell more straight up. If I consider that it's simply impossible, I've considered that. But then I remembered the wise words of one Kevin Graham Garnett. Anything is possible. I don't know if it's going to land screen. Problem is I have no momentum there on that one. <laughs> what act is this called and is this level one? Uh it's called advanced shells and no. If I just decided to fall at the end. Sometimes you gotta just fall at the end. Uh, one level today. One level today. This one level is taken all day. And that's okay because it's one level day. We get really good at the level on one level day. Fuck me in the dick. This isn't even the main level. Yeah, this is the this is the hidden exit. Well, I mean to be fair, I feel like the main level is probably a little bit easier. I don't know why it just seems so the whole thing seems so awkward. chat I think that I think I might hold on hold on I think we might be there uh, I don't really have a Burt Reynolds stash like my stash is definitely looks like 
My sash looks like a 16-year-old who works at a gas station. Yeah, I mean, I appreciate you giving me that. Yeah. Stop overthinking it, double shell jump. Nick Faro? I, I really appreciate your, um, your input on that. Thank you. I, I, I definitely didn't look at it the very first time and think, well, if I just do exactly what I do with the double shell jump, it'll be easy. Definitely not what I've been doing. <laughs> Fly away to victory. Try wall jumping. That eh, might be easier at this point. I don't know if this has wall content. Most ROM hacks now just take them out. Which I appreciate, honestly. More dumb shit happens with them in than cool shit with them out. Or, yeah. I, that was horrible timing, but... I need some momentum. Too slow, too slow right there, too slow. Too slow, too slow, too slow. You think three key jumps would be easier? I kind of agree. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I kind of agree, but I want to see what this is. You know what I mean? I'm I'm stubborn at this point. Yeah, I probably would have gotten three key jumps at this point, but you know what I mean? I don't even know. And I don't even know if you need three. You might only need two, honestly. Could you build momentum by jumping off? Yes, you could, but then you would not be able to catch the thing that you threw in the air. So that wouldn't help. Holy crap, still here? I don't know how long you were gone, so I don't I don't know how drastic a thing that is.
I feel like that. I feel like I'm really close. I feel like we're really close, though. I think that's got to be it, right? That's got to be it. Uh, Monica Barlow? This isn't... My, my chat's not Twitter. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That was wild. Oh, that didn't work. Try jumping into the keyhole with the key. Thank you for that help. That's a uh, great help. Let the chair play. You know what? That maybe that's what we need to do for a little bit. Maybe we need to let the chair play for a little bit. Oh my god. It's hard. Uh, I mean, I don't care if they backseat. I just don't like... I only care when people backseat something that's already been tried or something that can't be done. Those are the only times that they drive me crazy. <laughs> Shit, I tried to I tried to double key jump off of it. I tried to land on it and then key jump off of it right there. <laughs> Do I know Lita? Yeah, I know Lita. But, no, Molly, the thing is, like, you, like, I appreciate that, you know, I'm sure you worked hard on whatever it is you were doing, but it's not, like, good form to just go in someone else's chat and just be like, hey, leave this and go watch my video. You know what I mean? That's it. Maybe if I put on two hats, I could do that. You have no helpful suggestion tips. Am I even close? Yeah, am I even close? All right, all right, all right. Oh, that was so, the timing was so bad. break clear the pipes i i think i need to take a quick break yeah i need to it's hot in my room i need to walk outside maybe i was getting a little irritated um we're gonna come back we're gonna all as a unit exhibit the power of positivity yeah No, 
chat chat only helps. Chat never hurt. I just like to joke with chat. Listen. I'm a husband. I'm a husband, alright. I don't get to win many fights. But here in this in this chat room, I win them all. I win them all. All right. Now let's look here. Let's let's look one more time. We're gonna throw. Wait, what the hell? All right, all right. We're gonna throw this shell up, right? And we're gonna take this key and we're gonna throw it in that direction, right there, kind of like that, right? And then we're gonna shell jump right off there. Shell's gonna hit us here, and then we're gonna explode right there. Am I wrong? All right. You know what? I'm just going to leave this. I'm going to leave this up right there so everybody sees it. So that way we can all analyze it. Yeah, I'm going to leave that up so we can analyze it a little bit. Um... I'm gonna use the bathroom. Yeah, I'll be right back. And listen to some music. Listen to some music and, and think about this, okay? That's not a dick, that's analyzing, chat. What do you mean, these are analyzing? Y'all are, y'all need Jesus.
All right. All right. Right here. Right here. We're doing it. Okay? Uh, D's, thank you for 19. Robots fighting dinosaurs, thank you for 25 months. That's not toxic. Did you go to the bank or make the deposit? Or did you go to the gym and lose weight? Dude, I was gone for four and a half minutes. I went outside, got a little fresh air. There's a lot of snow on the ground right now, so it's really nice. Oh, we're just leaving the dick. Oh, oh wait, sorry. Sorry, sorry. I didn't realize my notes were there. Sorry, I apologize. There, there, that wasn't a dick on screen. Iron Judge, thank you so much. All right, power of positivity, chat. Power of positivity. Uh, yeah, we got like six inches. It's super nice here where we're at. Tahoe's got like seven feet. It's crazy. <laughs> Tahoe's gnarly. I can't even get there if I wanted to. Yeah, I'd have to drive down to like Southern California and then come back up. Like through Nevada, it'd be wild. so close on that one. All right. It's happening. I just needed, you know what? We just needed to, we just needed a break. We just needed to calm down. Oh, that was close too. I think I need to just go a little bit farther over and I think we're good. Only six inches, it's not even worth mentioning. What, for snow? I mean, that's a, a lot of snow for a lot of places. It's gonna be here. It's gonna add more snow on top of it throughout the year. I mean, it's not a Tahoe amount of snow. Yeah, also six inches? Bruh. I don't think you understand how big six inches is. Yo, it's closing, it's closing school down and your mother's house, all right? It's closing school down and locking your mother's house, both. Ayo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, plus they're girthy snowflakes. They're really thick snowflakes, so I mean... Vancouver has crazy weather. Um, I mean, most of that area of the world gets really hot and really cold now. Showed flakes? Oh, because they're so thick. I mean, they're not little either, though. You know what I mean? They're, they're average size snowflakes. All right. 
All right, all right. Yeah, and the snow, you know what? And the snow's gonna, this six inch is gonna last a while. It's gonna be here all night, all night. all night um all right we are going to do something like that we threw it too far but that i actually like that timing chat <laughs> Fuck your life. Bitch. Oh. Um, why did you just say you poop on my grandma? I don't even, I gotta read the second half of that statement. You will poop on my grandma if she picks up them sticks in any fighting game? Dude, my grandma would, would have wrecked you at Mortal Kombat. My grandma was a stone cold killer, all right? Kidding me? She would have wrecked you. Her Raiden was off the chain. Close? Am I too close to the wall right there? Is that what's happening? Oh. Shout out to the Liu Kang Mangs. Dude, Liu Kang Mains are the worst. Shout out to the Kano Mains, all three of you. Oh. Right? Nobody's Kano. Kano mains are hipsters. Mortal Kombat 1, 85% of players are Liu Kang, Sub-Zero, and Scorpion in Mortal Kombat 1. I feel like. That was horrible. Your uncle played a mean reptile on Mortal Kombat 1? I didn't think reptile was playable in Mortal Kombat 1. Reptile was my main in 4. Yeah, Mortal Kombat 4 I liked reptile a lot. He was he did some cheeky ass shit. Yeah. Well, Johnny Cage can punch you in the nuts. You know? I mean, that's... That's super helpful. And can we, like, you know one thing that I always really loved about Mortal Kombat 1? Like, Johnny Cage, when Johnny Cage punched Sonya in in the in the, the, the lady nuts, her, her vagina, um, it didn't affect her. Or Go Goro, I think. I don't think Goro got affected either, which just, that implies something completely different. But in the movie, Goro got wrecked by it. That was ahead of its time, yeah. Yeah, that was really ahead of its time, honestly. Yeah, I think that's like 1993. It's, and what I'm saying is just like ahead of its time. Uh, I mean, it's like, uh, you know, they just acknowledge the existence. Of a vagina. 
in a video game. All right, we gotta go, damn it. We would've had to go fast. Clear eyes, forearms, can't lose. Aura loses some of his luster once they make him playable. Yeah. Honestly, I feel like there should, I feel like fighting games should just have some unplayable bosses. Because once you, once you make them playable, then you have to um, balance them. You know what I mean? And that's boring. Aren't they making a new Mortal Kombat movie? Does Goro have one dick, two dicks, or four dicks? You have to... I mean, he only has two feet, right? What's the Lady Goro? Shavira? I mean, my first thought was like, well, well definitely two dicks. But then, you know, maybe not. Either way, I, either way, I bet whatever he's packing is fucking... Oh, wait, they just did make a new Mortal Kombat movie. I watched it. What am I saying? They're making another one, though. Shiva? Goro and Goro's in that one, too. And I'm just saying, he looks like he's... You know what, chat? I'm about to do a little Googling. Something that I never thought I would put into the Google search bar, but once we beat this level, level, I think we've earned it. We're gonna look at Goro's bulge. I think we've earned it. We're gonna do some analyzation. I liked, I liked it up until like the very last like 20 minutes. The very last 20 minutes, I thought were really bad. And also, I didn't like that they didn't just like use Liu Kang or Kung Lao or like something, someone for the main character. Like, why they give us a new little main character? All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. We ready? Are we ready? I didn't throw the, sh the key fast enough. I didn't throw the key fast enough, chat. But that was good. Goro's huge, beautiful ball. Yeah, that's what I'm going to put in the Google search. I think that should be fine. Oh my god, this jump still? Guys, listen. This is a... We're in a full commitment, chat. We're all we're all in love together at your point. With this jump. This jump is our, our new... Quite frankly, kind of religious icon. Like, it's going beyond just playing this level or anything else, yeah. Uh, this jump is who we now dedicate our life to. Um, our, our resources, our time, our effort. Uh, this jump is, the only way we can describe this jump is it's our daddy. Yes, this jump is our daddy. And this just happens sometimes, you know what I mean? Sometimes a jump is my daddy. That one was good, but I didn't throw it out far enough. I gotta throw it out just a little bit farther than that. You know, jump less. Yes, exactly. Jump less, everybody. What's funny about it is it doesn't seem like it should be that hard. But for some reason, it's so hard. No, because you look at it and you're like, oh, it's just a it's just a double shell jump essentially. But you grab the key, right? No, it's way weirder for some reason. Uh yeah, I liked all the AEW Street Fighter shirts. I can't wait for the AEW game, dude. I feel like it's gonna be like no mercy the way people play it. WCW NW Revenge. Uh, Med Semner, thank you so much for that sub. I definitely mispronounced your name, but I really appreciate the sub. I am unworthy of your subscriptions and your dollars, and I just thank you for them. Uh, oh, is it Zangief, not Belrog? I think the Miro one is Zangief. CM Punk, didn't CM Punk have one too? And then Adam Cole had E Honda, I thought.
I don't care enough for the jump? No, I care deeply about the jump. What do you mean? This jump is... This jump means the same to me as, like, it's like... It's like my kid, this jump, you know, my wife. Like, that's the order of meaning to me. <laughs> that's a joke, for the record. I don't want anyone to... I don't want anyone to clip that or... Yeah. <laughs> this jump is love. This jump is life. This jump is our lord, our lord and our savior right now. We got it. How much time can one man spend on Fuck me? There's no jump only Zool. <laughs> you think I've become too attached to this jump to leave it behind now? Yeah, I can't leave it behind now. <sighs> Coco, get out of my room. My dog doesn't follow the jump king. trouble. You have to become the jump? Oh, my dog is going to, my dog is steps on things and turns my power off. He who conquers the dog, maybe the dog can do the jump. You know what? Probably a good, probably a good idea. I thought I had it too. Yikes, three hour level? And happens, you know what I mean? It's mostly just, it's mostly I'm just bad at whatever the motions is for this. I think I figured out what to do. I just think I'm just bad at it. Yeah, it's not even the level. Like we beat the level itself in like 45 minutes. Literally just one jump. It happens sometimes, man. That's part of, that's part of Kaizo and being a streaky player. <laughs> Bitch. Jump two's next. I've never played jump and yump and jump half. I saw Barb's doing a marathon of them. Oh, I missed that. The wise man once said, get good. I know. Listen. I'm getting good, baby. Oh, I'm getting good. Listen, the thing that I'm blessed with, more so than anything when it comes to Mario skills, is I'm fucking stubborn. Oh, that was horrible. Yeah, I'm stubborn. And you all, like Link right there, who just gifted five gift subs, weirdly... What do I want to say? Like, encourage my stubbornness? Monetarily? Sometimes? Thank you, Link. Oh. Yeah, you're enablers. Exactly. 
Uh, I can't decide if I want to buy a snowblower or not. I, feel, I don't really feel like I need one at the same time. Like, I've just always wanted a snowblower. You know? Uh, Ara James, thank you for the five gift subs enabling enabling this. I greatly appreciate it. How many subs for a snowblower? Um, I mean, I can swing a snowblower, guys. I got dozens of dollars in the bank. They're not that expensive, honestly, like now anymore. And I can even get one of those, like, shitty electric ones because we're not going to have heat where I live. And if we did, I'm not going outside anyway. Yeah, they're really not that bad. Yeah, but I, you know, it's just not that bad, I guess, here. It's not like it was in Tahoe, where, like, I felt like, like, shoveling snow in Tahoe is part of the reason I left. But now, now I could have afforded a snowblower, and I would have been like, oh, this is awesome. Look at how nice my driveway is. All right, all right, all right. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Did I let go of jump? Did something happen? What happened there? Uh, even Neo missed his first jump. All right. Give me your, give me your three word review of the new Matrix chat. I'm gonna watch it anyway, so I don't really care. It's like, what else am I gonna do? Did not see? Well, that's not a review. What the fuck? That seems accurate. It stinks, boo. Trying too hard. Not good, sad face. I liked it. Too late sequel. Expectations are low. Yes. Giant cash grab? All movies are giant cash grab. Social commentary movie? The first three Matrix were social commentary movies as well, so... I mean, you know. Still, still better love story than Twilight? That's too many words, dude. You're eliminated. The best of the sequels? The best sequel? Best Matrix sequel? It's not too hard. The other two Matrix sequels suck. <laughs> Alright, here we go, here we go, here we go. Yeah, I think a lot of people forget how much everyone hated Matrix 2 and 3. I think the fact that people are even watching 4 is actually kind of crazy, honestly. Um, we're gonna get it. We're gonna get it. We're gonna get it. Yeah, I'm still gonna watch it. Um, damn it. Well, you have to understand a lot of stuff. A lot of stuffs happened in Matrix lore too. Like the whole MMO video game. Like that was all real, man. That, that really happened. The rave orgy scene? Dude, people, I think people genuinely forget the audible groan you heard in the theaters when the, they sat there and did a 20 minute scene where they just pretty much explained everything in the most simple terms, you know what I mean? It is basically like in the middle of Matrix, you watch the last scene of Game of Thrones. Yeah. The sequels are somehow worse than you remember. They're they're really bad. Yeah, yeah. The only thing, the only you know, the, the I mean, the thing is with the Matrix sequels that I that was really cool was they filmed them both at the same time, so they came out like really close together. So at that point, you were like, eh. But like the first Matrix was so good, and then you had like two years of hype, and you're like, I think they sold tickets to both of them together too. I think because I feel like that's I remember do, having that deal. Like I bought tickets to both Matrix movies.
Damn it. Second one has some decent... Second one starts off real good, like that, the Mr. Smith fight. That's dope. But, yeah, at the end of it, it's... Oh, horrible. This ending trick. You were you were planning on watching all of them again this week and then you quit halfway through. So so okay, so here's here's the thing. Let me let me ask you this. For those who have recently watched all of the matrixes, is four better than two and three? Yes and no, yes and no. Four is worse, about the same, yes. One, two, four, three. Three hat. There's no way it's worse than three. There's no way it's worse than three, guys. Three's horrible. <laughs> Not better than one? Yeah, that's fine. Um, all right, here we go. I mean, the thing with one is like, one makes you feel a little special the first time you see it. You know what I mean? Like, damn it. This one's trying to fix three. All right, well, I'm gonna watch it and then I'll I'll tell you what I think about it. Uh, okay, give me your three, three word review of, what's that Netflix movie with uh, Leo? Jennifer Lawrence? It's always up. Oh, that was great. Don't look up. We'll never watch? That's not a review then. What what why why are you even chiming in? Why would you never watch it? Everyone seems to really like it. Solid math. Yo, that's that's a great review. <laughs> what else are you gonna watch? There's literally like there's just not that much stuff coming out right now. Made by Netflix? Dude, I like some Netflix movies. Okay, come on. Boba Fett starts Wednesday? Ooh, thank God, because like, the lack of Mando this year sucked ass. You know? Yeah, we, I was, we were gonna watch Don't Look Up last night, but then we found out there's a new season of uh, 90 Day Fiance on, and I mean, I don't know if y'all ever watched 90 Day Fiance, but... Yeah, I mean... Why are you not... Am I letting go of Jump right there? Yeah, I mean... Why are you not? Am I letting go of you? just heard about 90 Day Fiance last night? Yesterday? I don't know. I mean, I feel like learning about 90 Day Fiance is like the first time like you try like a really hard drug. Like it's like the first time someone's like... Here's meth. And you're like, I'll never do math, right? And then one day you're really bored and you do math. And all of a sudden, like, you just want to do a lot of math. You know, you know it's not making your life better, but you're doing math. And that's 90 Day Fiance.
Anyway, 90 Day Fiance uh, debuted yesterday. It's actually before the 90 days, so these people aren't technically married or anything yet. Um, which is which is my favorite one, actually, because usually it's the Americans going over there to, like, marry the person. And this one has... I felt like this one was the most normal group of people they've had. They were fascinating. Um... And I loved it. They're they're all amazing. Um, it's it's just it's just incredible. God. Was that a pro meth speech? No, my life is not better because I watched two hours of 90 Day Fiance last night. I tell you that I can promise you that my life is supremely definitely not better because of that. One of the guys on it. So one of the guys is a rapper from Nigeria named Soja Boy. Not Soldier Boy. Soja Boy. And you know what? I'm not gonna front. This music's not that bad. Um, but he was married to a woman last year on the show, right? And they got divorced, and now he's dating another lady on the show. And this lady seems so nice. A new American lady. Usman. Usman's dope. Yeah, Usman. He's actually great. I actually really like him. Yeah. yeah we have Soja Boy at home. He's... That's kind of the best way to describe it. Um, I'm sure he's on... He's probably on Spotify, and I highly doubt I would get DMCA'd for playing his music. Um, then there's a... Like, a kind of like a, a relatively normal-looking emo dude. Who's dating a... Russian girl who has a form of dwarfism that... Like, it's like a more severe form than she was telling him about. So that one's fascinating. And she's also like a model and shit. can't really describe it that one's fascinating for a whole lot of reasons because he's fucking weird she's fucking uh lying to him about some things like also kind of being honest and then and then uh what was the, oh my god what was the thing oh but they like met when they were like 15 so they've been talking for like 13 years that one was wild uh ocellus thank you so much yeah it, the whole thing's the whole thing's batshit crazy i love it Dude! Why don't I throw it backwards? I don't know. I'm just... Listen, at this point, at this point, I, I don't want to beat the jump. You know? At this point, I just want to continue on playing this level forever. You know? At this point. Yeah. Think of all the content? What content? I can't reuse this content. This isn't content. Dude, I got shit to do this week, chat. I don't need to extend out playthroughs of fucking Mario hacks. I got other Mario hacks I can play. There's a billion hacks I've never played. A. B. I got, I got lots of other shit to do. I got driving games I want to play. I got Spelunky 799ing to do. I got, um, yeah, this is, this ain't it. You've been watching this for two hours? Buckle in, baby. We're going for two more. All right? Get sexy. Get ready. We're staying, we're hanging out. Yeah, I got Battle Royale games to win. Barb, have you played, is Barb still in here? I feel like he'd be a great Babel Royaler. I don't know why, but that man just it seems like he's played some Scrabble in this day. I just think like all teachers play Scrabble. I think that's a, my thing. Yeah. That's, that's kind of my thing, you know? Like if you're a teacher, you, 
I don't know why, but I just feel like that's what teachers do in break rooms. They just play Scrabble and drink coffee. If you're a teacher and you hate Scrabble, disprove to you? Well, it, it was a rule, not a law, dude. Yeah. It was a generalization. Your ex-girlfriend was a teacher. That's all she did in break rooms. Ha! Offset you, Xerox. Suck it, bitch. Maybe you're a bad teacher if you don't play Scrabble. <laughs> we all, you all play Scrabble and live at the school. I'm glad you're answering all my questions that I had about teachers. <laughs> Where do you sleep at the school? chat i'm i'm like legitimately like like my thumb is kind of hurting <laughs> i don't <laughs> I, i'm trying so hard but i i don't i feel like i can't get it oh. it's a hard jump man I just don't even know if I'm doing the right thing is the problem. Try harder? I'm trying harder. I'm gonna- I will. I will try harder. Try even harder. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, it just sucks because I honestly kind of crushed the rest of the level. <laughs> and now we're just stuck. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Hey, do I just want to do that in all in one swift motion? Do it again, but do it better this time? Okay. I'll try it. Do it again, but better. That was better. Don't fail. All right, we got this. Got <sighs> Life will find a way. Practice the shell jump at the end. Oh. Yeah, I know how to shell jump. Thanks. <laughs> Grey Wolf Mage. I mean, with all due respect, bro. I mean, have you seen this level? 
I know, I know the shell jump part. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and I know I can't do the, uh, like a not... Uh, how's life? Life's good. Um, I found a new religion recently. Uh, it's called the end of this level jump. Um, we all have converted because, we're, you know, we're a cult. And so we've all converted um, here in chat. By entering chat, you also too have converted. Um, church is just playing this level over and over and over again. Yeah. I actually got my name, yeah. We actually, I just took on a new name. Brand, uh, Puba. Um, which I got, um, once I converted. It's class here. Yeah. Alright, 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 alright. You're not throwing it up, dude. Yeah, when you don't throw it up, it's, there's not much I can do. Oh. Bless the whole... What's our creation story? Um, okay, this is a little awkward. We don't tell people this when we're recruiting them, okay? But the way this started is somebody created this jump, right? And then I spent my whole Monday after Christmas trying to complete this one jump. And then I went crazy, right? Yeah, I went really like batshit nutso. Um, is what happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I used my influence on the internet. Again, we're not telling people about this. And then I used my small, tiny influence on the internet to convert all of you guys into it, right? And then you guys are gonna use your influence, you know, to convert other people as well. And really, you all just need to convert two people, right? And then they need to convert two people, and then pretty soon we'll have the whole world. And um, every, every Monday we can get together and, you know, just fail at this jump for a few hours. And, you know, talk about our trials, our tribulations, how bad we think the new Matrix movie is or isn't. You know, things like that. Listen, I'm not saying it wasn't created out of, you know, a little bit of evil. Um, evil being the jump but it's really becoming something incredible, you know? Trying it real. <laughs> Will the religion die if I make the jump? No, we're dude. I'm not even gonna play. This is all the, the only level we're ever gonna play in this stream again. Every Monday. Yeah, you do have to pledge your undying loyalty though, which which costs one Twitch Prime sub. Regular subs also okay. Yeah, to anybody though. Yeah, to any streamer. Not just not not me. Any any streamer that's ever had a jump. Doesn't have to be just this jump. It could be any jump, you know? Oh. 
<laughs> Do we have a sacrifice quota? Uh, listen, I'll get to that, okay? I'll get to that. Listen, I don't... I don't just, uh, start off... I... You don't start off a cult by explaining the sacrifice quota first. You start off with the fun, you know what I mean? Have you ever seen... you guys ever seen Wild Wild Country? Listen. You get people to join... You get people to join the cult with orgies, alright? Then you... Then you... We're not doing that. Then you introduce the poisoning of an entire town. Much later on. Yeah. Literally just watched that last night. Uh, I love Sheila in that movie. Like, I know Sheila's the bad guy, but I love her. Like, I know she's definitely the bad guy. All right, here we go! Oh, no, 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 we have been on this level for four hours now, and I have been on this one jump for the whole four hours, and it's just one jump that I cannot beat. I can beat the rest of the level like I beat uh, my meat before I put it on the grill. Get your mind out of the gutter, you dirty motherfuckers. <laughs> oh man I make shell jumps like Shaq makes free throws yeah the rest of the shell jumps I'm definitely missing all the time it's not the shell jump it's the last it's the last jump dude it's this last key double key whoopsie woo thing It's awkward, and I can't explain why. Like, the whole thing is just freaking awkward. I can do a normal shell jump up there. It's very easy. It's, it's that I gotta get the shell and the key. The problem is that this key is sitting on a goddamn muncher. If this key was sitting on a fucking piece of floor, it'd be no problem. I'd throw the key up, I'd fucking grab the shell, I'd fucking shell jump. No problem. But you gotta go, key, shell, ba -do 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 -do, ba -do -do -do. And then all of it's got to be timing, and it's got to move forward enough to where you're mo it's it's landing on top of you. It's really weird. It's just super awkward. How about starting there from the left? What will that do? Speed runs and a boss. Yeah. Maybe you don't make the sound effect. Oh, maybe you don't make the sound effect. Here, I'll show you what I, I show you the problem. I'll show you I'll show you what I'm trying to do here, okay? I'm trying this shell, this shell right here, okay? This shell, I need this shell. This shell right here, I'm gonna take this shell and I'm throwing it up and then it's gonna arch right over there, okay? Okay? And then this right there, you see that? That key, I have to grab that key, right? I have to grab that key and I gotta throw the key up there, okay? All right, throw the key up. Yeah, so I'm gonna jump and then throw the key up so it lands kind of in there because I'm gonna come down from there, all right? And then what I'm gonna do is after the shell, remember that shell that went up, I want to grab the shell but on the way up, and then I'm gonna throw the shell into that area. Actually, it's gonna be like, I kinda wanna grab it right here, thinking about it, and then throw it in, and then it'll bounce off right there, you know? And then I will explode up into the key, right? Like, right into that key right there. Right there. Okay.
Well, that's what I need to do. Oh. Is this why Nintendo removed my levels? Why? Because I provide fucking incredible analysis? The problem is I want to be, like, the problem is the key throw, right? The key throw is the problem. Because I'm throwing the key so late that I'm grabbing the shell too early. Yeah. I tried giving the controller to my older brother. I don't have one. Just me. Only child. Well, I mean, except for my brothers and sisters. <laughs> Perhaps spend more time above the keyhole? I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna key jump it at this point. an unintended strat no i've tried that before like what i could do there is like land on the key and then just key jump up like i could do that land on the key you get like one frame on the key and then we can key jump up but like that's not how we're supposed to do it just do three consecutive key jumps well if i could get to the wall we could do those easy key jumps even you know what i mean But I just want to do it the right way. I want to do it the real way. Oh. Oh. Problem is I'm catching the shell too high right there. Oh. Four hours on one jump? Hey, baby. This happens sometimes. It, it's it's weird too, cause it's just like, it's just awkward. I don't know what. I've definitely done harder jumps than this, on a much more consistent, faster basis. It's just it's just getting me. I got the this jump gives me the yips, chat. Do 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 do. Practice the shell part, then practice the key. No. Do you catch the shell or give it a bump? I think you catch it. I think you have to catch it. The bump, the, I've done the bump and the bump is just not working. Wow. Use save states? Dude, that's just like giving up. I'm never giving up. Listen, this level's, this level's Tyrone Woodley and I'm Jake Paul, okay? Wow. I've paid this level off, and I'm going to beat it.
Have I tried just getting it on the first try? Yeah. Yeah. I have. Now we're gonna do it. Fuck you, Shell. I hate you, Shell. You're stupid. You're dumb. Screw you, Shell. Have I tried turning it off and turning it back on again? Basic bitch, Shell. Am I above looking up somebody else's playthrough? No, I'm not. You think you think I'm above that shit? Uh, I prefer not to. But I just, you know, like if I'm doing something that's completely wrong, Sanducci! Thank you so much for that sub. I greatly appreciate it. Can everyone drop some gift bombs in the chat? Because the gift bombs are the power of positivity. Please, everybody, everybody drop them in chat. So I need to like catch the shell like right there because I'm only getting like so much height, you know? Junk Fox, thank you for 20 months. Thank you now that's a fork and a knife. Thank you guys for the sub. Could I do midair key jumps? I could, but I'm stubbornly at this point have to do it this way. Like midair key jumps probably would have been the easiest way to do it now. Especially if I could just get to the wall. Like if I could key jump it to the wall, I mean, honestly, four like wall key jumps are probably easier than three midairs. Uh, Junker, thank you so much. Just throw the key in the hole, obviously. I wish, man. Yeah, I mean, I can't get the height, but I mean, I guess I could do that and then just, like, do a key shell jump. You know, do a key jump. Which might be the best way to do it at this point, you know? Because, I mean, listen, I've wasted my time, I've wasted your time, I've wasted our time. Uh, what is the last key, what if the last shell's a fake, and you're supposed to do key jumps? Oh. Oh. What's our time? It's our time together. You and me, together time. Where we share, we share things together. try and get a running start and then try and key jump off the wall. 
You know what? You know what? That was the jump god smiting me for trying to cheat it. Like, I don't know why I would try to cheat what the gods required from me. I can't catch the shell that high, Chad. I mean, it's just, it's just, I just gotta get used to it. I cannot catch the shell that high. You know what I mean? If I catch the shell that high, we're not doing it. So, who gives a fuck? Do not try and bend the key. That's impossible. Instead, only try to realize the truth. There is no key. Whoa, there's no key? I'm hungry. Um... Damn it. Watching this while you get tattooed, you're not bored? What are you getting tattooed on you? Dude, I want to get my whole arm done. But, like, how do you... I, I don't know where to start. Like, about getting someone to draw me... a tattoo. Wait for my editor to only use 20 minutes of footage? Start with a face tattoo, trust me? No, I've, I've got, like, I don't know seven or eight tattoos right now but I want to get my whole they're all individual pieces whereas like I've never gotten like you know like a sleeve or something like that you know what I mean like they're all just kind of like flash pieces you know small pieces everywhere find a good tattoo artist and pay them money thanks mm -hmm. I'm just gonna do this, chat. Get a tattoo of the screenshot of the last jump. What do you guys think? Should we do that? I've definitely gotten worse tattoos on my body. This is not the way you're supposed to do it, just for the record. Maybe it is. You think this is the way you're supposed to do it, Chad? You think this this might actually be the way that you're supposed to do it? Like, the, the more I'm looking at it, it, this might be the way. Me and Barbara's the Blues Brothers? I asked him if he wanted to do a buddy cop movie with the stashes. Whatever I have to tell myself, the keyhole requires me holding the key. Yes. Yes. You. Have, here's the thing: the keyhole requires the key master. Um. And if you are Gozar, you need a key master. Try shell jumping on the left side. Legitimately, what would that do for me? give people the chance to shut the fuck up about it? No, it wouldn't. Because people don't... Here's the thing. No one's coming in suggesting that. That was here an hour ago. They're coming in. They've seen it a few times. And then they're... You know what I mean? Like, I get it. I get it. They don't know how long you've been. They don't know that we've been on this for five hours and have tried everything under the sun. We've been through all these things. 
They may have not seen the incredible diagrams. Can someone can someone get a clip of that last diagram we did? And then it might help them understand. Yeah. It still makes you mad you wouldn't be a good streamer? Um... I mean... That might make you a better streamer. Some people... Listen. There's some people out there that, like... You know, like... Bix... Last Resort? You know, the restaurant where the waiters are assholes to you? Would I like to see a video of it being done? After I'm done doing it, I would like to see a video of it being done, yeah. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do it this way, though. The diagram was pretty professional. It was an incredibly professional diagram. We should watch your channel. You did this uh, an hour ago. Yeah, the thing is, we don't like people that brag, though, Jeff. We like humble people. Yeah, a little braggy, right? That was actually it. Okay, come on, baby. We're gonna do it. I'm gonna do it this way. I don't know if this is the way to do it, and I should have done it this way like three hours ago, but I've been stubborn thinking this wasn't the way to do it. Yeah. gonna be it I need some inspiration music playing do you not hear this track that's playing in the background Mega Man 14 one or another 69 top three toughest Mario jumps in my career and eh, probably not I think I think it jumps really hard when you're just doing it I think what I was trying to do the entire time just was not possible and I kept trying to make it possible and it's just not possible So when you spend three hours doing something that's not possible, you know what I mean? Yeah, when you spend a bunch of time doing something that's not possible. Uh, it's hard. What's this hat called? Advanced Shells. Yeah, if I would have done the... We would have been done three hours ago if I would have been trying what I'm trying now. From the get-go. But I would just, like... I, I'm convinced this isn't the right way to do it. You know what I mean? Like, I'm convinced what I'm doing right now is the opposite of what I should be doing. Wait just a bit longer before I jump. Have you done this jump? No? Shut the fuck up!
I'm just joking with you. No need to explain timing to me, God. I thought that was it too. Maybe he has done the jump. Can I throw the key up directly? The funny part is now people are suggesting the strat that we abandoned uh, like 10 minutes ago. We have, we're hitting full circle. be timing people. I'm not gonna time anyone out. I'm just fucking around. I'm just listen. Listen, I'm I that was a joke. I I, I wasn't actually mad at him. I did it because you guys thought it would be funny. You know what I mean? It was funny for chat. Yeah. There's no reason to time anyone out. Everyone's being good. I'm nagging you, you're nagging me, we're nagging each other, you know? But what we need is a power of positivity. We're gonna have a dance party once this is fucking done. Whoa, fucking shit. That might be a little too much positivity. Um, oh, dark face. Thank you so much for the 50 fucking gift sub bomb. Holy shit. Well, dude, I can't I can't key jump anymore, chat. I don't know. That's that's what I'm doing. That's a lot of fucking positivity. Can we get some gift sub bombs in the chat. Madden enraged me always completes hard jumps. That's what I'm saying. I need to get I need to get angry. Raw. Uh oh. Oh, that's not good. Fuck that up. Damn. I feel like I feel like we almost got that. If if we would have got it, if after all that, that's how we would have gotten it, I would have I would have been kind of angry. <laughs> Outrageous face, thank you so much. I I don't know. I don't. I feel like we were just high enough for that. Is the key jump the key to success, dude? This is legitimately because like, on shell levels, you hold your you hold the controller too tight. I don't, I I'm I'm probably not alone in that. That might be the easiest strat. That might be, dude. If I could get one where I get both. At least I would know for sure that's not the intended way. I don't think I'm trying the intended way. Bitch. Would I hold you tight like a controller? Yeah, baby. I would. Try doing it right. Thank you for that advice. You are... Are you a coach? Are you Phil Jackson? Oh. I try picking up a cape? Um... I mean, I can't bend the laws of time and physics. Oh. Yeah. Get good. Sometimes you gotta get good, baby.
Dang, I had that, dude. I but I still don't think that's I still don't think that's the right way. Right? Due to this level, what the Lions did to the Cardinals last week? Listen, I can't. The jump is all we know. The jump is all we care about. The jump is all the love. Uh, seriously, thank you so much for... Hold on. Thank you so much, Darkface, for 50 gift subs. Um, I... Or, Dark Ace, sorry. Dark Ace. 1987 PSN, thank you so much. Uh, maybe a little snack, maybe a hug. I've been on one jump for four hours. Yeah, maybe I need a little snack. Come here, Coco, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, yeah, yeah, I get it. Okay, what are you doing? What's your plan? Where are you going? Oh, dude, chat. My dog is the my dog is the weirdest looking dog ever. I don't. I I really hold on. I'm gonna hold her up for you guys just so you guys can see this dog. Look at this thing. Hold on. Look at, look at this. Look at this long body and these short legs. Look at this body. Can't really. See. I gotta get her standing. She looks ridiculous. No, she just looks ridiculous. She's a she's Jet. She's a wiener dog mixed with a um like a pit bull, right? She's a wiener dog mixed with a pit bull. She's full grown. What's her name? Coco. After the movie Coco. Don't body shame her. Dude, her little... She's like... She's so fast. Outrageous face. Thank you for 10 months. Uh, Dark Ace, so seriously, thank you so much for those 50 gift subs. That is a, a tremendously large amount of money. I'm very, very, very much not worthy of that. And I just really appreciate it. So thank you so much. She's really cute. She is, if you don't live with her. She has a... She has a cuddle problem and that she has to be in between me and my wife at all times all times she doesn't let anyone else cuddle me specifically if someone else is cuddling me she gets in between she's incredible with my son though Come on, grab it! Grab it! Grab it! <sighs> that must make sex awkward. Um, listen. Pretty much everyone with a dog is their dog just stares at them while they're doing it. It's always fucking awkward. Gotta be done. Dude, my dog, yeah, my dog's um ridiculous. So yeah, she she gets right in between me and my wife every night. Even when we kick her out, she has her own bed, and she knows she starts night. She knows as soon as we fall asleep, she can just get right up in between us, claim her space, and then it's hers for the rest of the night. I did it! Oh my god, chat. Is that... I think that might... That might have just been the way. That's the only thing, honestly, that made... That really makes any sense. I think we spent three and a half hours trying it the wrong way and a half hour trying it the right way. Uh, a daddy ain't got no daddy. Thank you for the five gift subs. All giver, thank you for the sub. Che bomb, thank you for the sub. You get a replay? No, it's too late already. It's too late. I already. Yeah, I. 
I already screwed it up. Uh, a daddy ain't got no daddy. Thank you for the five gifts. Sorry. I gotta be quick. I gotta be quick with replays. I forget I have them sometimes. I, yeah, I don't know. Intended strat. Let me see. Let me see this. Let me see this video of the intended strat. Well, I mean, that's definitely that's what I was trying the whole time. It's possible I just fucking sucked at it. Definitely possible I just sucked at it the whole time. Oh, this is a task though. That's a task. So that's a task. So I don't know if we could. I don't know if we could do that. Yeah, that's a task. So I don't know if that was the intended strat, since that's tasks, you know what I mean? Also, that's a horrible task, I just want to say. What's task? Tool-assisted speedrun. Means it, that means it, a human didn't do that. Oh, Goro's Bulge. Yeah, let's look up Goro's Bulge. Good call. Goro's... Yeah, here we go. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Sorry. Sorry, chat. Oh, wait. I guess, yeah, I guess we could just do it right here. Goro's Bulge. Showing results for Goro's Bulge. Search instead for his Bulge. Yeah. Images. Mortal Kombat. Oh, I spelled that wrong. Nothing. Oh, nothing. Oh, wait. There we go. Oh no, he's got one dick. Chat. Uh, easy confirmed one dick here. I don't know. He might have no dick, actually. Yeah, he might have no dick on this. This version of Goro I'm, is not rocking a lot of junk here. But this one's got a big old, big old honker dong. Right there. Okay, here's. This is just fan art. I don't know if this counts. Yeah. Wait, that's in game, right? That's in game. That's a that's a good in game picture. Got a dick, or is that an action figure? Oh, the action figure's definitely got a dick. Eh, mm, what do we got? What do we got here? No dick for him. Sorry, chat. This is a we were. This is a conversation that happened three and a half hours ago that we had to get to the end of. We were trying to decide how many dicks Goro has, and I think the confirmation is is one dick. One rather, I see just one bulge. Yeah, he doesn't have multiple dicks. I think it's confirmed. I think we can safely say, right? Fan art, official art, everything. One rather unimpressive bulge, honestly. I mean, there's a bulge there, but it's not that, like, no Finn Balor. And if you're like, Finn Balor, who's Finn Balor? Well. Hold on, wait, let me get a good one. Let's just say Finn Balor does that. Let's just say Finn Balor does that when he opens, all right? Yeah. Wait, hold on. Finn Finn Balor. How is How is Bulge not one of Not even on the Bs? Maybe I'm maybe I'm the only one searching for bulges. Anyway, moving on. No, to Farad, I appreciate impressive things regardless. Why are you so worried about it? We were having a debate on how many dicks Goro had earlier, chat. That's that's where it all stood, started from. Yeah. The four and a half hours of shell jumping. Oh. Dangerous game I'm playing? What, you can't look at wrestlers? Can't look at wrestlers on stream chat? 
Jetson Swin. I fix my wheel? Uh, not yet. I'm getting, uh, there's, I think I'm getting a new one. My god, sorry chat. I'm I'm legitimately I'm just letting my hand like um I'm just letting my hand. I'm I'm delaying time right now and letting my hand go. One dick. One dick for Goro. We looked it up. T9 Nightmare Tower. Nightmare Tower. Alright, let's go. Sweet. Oh, okay. Okay, we're getting this. New timer? No, just let it go. Game volume's a tad low. Turn up your radio. Would I rather have four arms or two dicks? That's actually a pretty good question. I, 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 I don't really, I don't really think two dicks is gonna come in handy. Honestly, I, I don't. I feel like on a day-to-day -day basis, four arms is, is a much more useful thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, four, not four arms, but like four arms. Yeah, I just don't see. Depends on where the other dick is. Yeah, I don't know, man. Can you pee from both? Why would you want to? You have to pee double? Like, there's a lot of things that I'm just not with it on that. Yeah, I know about Double Dick, dude. I've read his book. That's a joke. I didn't read his book. Uh, Leroy Ski. Thank you so much. What are we doing here? Double dick dude admitted it was all fake. I believe in a slightly less magical world now. Man, it's almost like things on the internet aren't true. Oh, I see what I want to do. Okay. Oh, that was awkward. Are the physics for this level the same as SMW, or is that just a gimmick? Yeah, this is an SMW game. Why would someone do that? Go on the internet and just lie like that? I don't know, man. I don't know. Why would anyone do that? Now you're gonna tell me the lady with three boosts from Total Recall wasn't wasn't real? Uh, chat. The first time I ever saw boobs in a movie was Total Recall three boobs. What is it? Oh, it's that pork. Those quesadillas, but with that pork in it. Oh, why are they messy quesadillas? Oh, cause it's juicy pork. Oh, that pork is so good. That's the last of it. Why would anyone look up Goro's bulge? What do you mean? We just had a... We just solved a... I'm not even the one who brought it up. I'm pretty sure Barb brought it up. Okay. 
It was for science. What do you mean? It was for science. Yeah. Why would you not look up Goro's bulge? You don't just look up video game character bulges? What do you do? What do you do in your spare time? What do you and your friends debate about? You guys talk about the weather? Stop beating that last level. I don't I don't think that task I'm not sure that task way is the way to do it, but Okay. Okay. Uh, I think I I think I need to go higher than that. No, he Goro's got one dingling. Was the general consensus we came to. Have all the levels in this hack been this hard? Yes. Apparently a woman claimed to have three boobs on the internet and that turned out to be fake as well. I feel like there's no advantage to having an extra nut. Uh, WWE is not requiring tests anymore after yesterday. Dude, w WWE and NFL are both a joke. When it comes to that. They're both just saying fuck it. Um, yeah, they're both just in the fuck it train. WWE scripted? What? What? From... Yeah, I mean, but you still... Yeah, I was gonna say, I mean, you're still... That has nothing to do with, um, you know... A disease, but yeah, anyway, I mean, yeah, because all right, I mean, you are right. That's why I like AEW, it's real wrestling. What AEW is too? You're telling me, my friend, you're telling me, my friend, Adam Cole this whole time has known whether he's going to win or lose when he walks out there? What? Wait, 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 wait. You're telling me? You're telling me? Is it? Can I even trust him anymore? Whoa, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You're telling me that Xavier Woods, Xavier Woods, my homeboy, right? Like, is just making all that up? Like, he's not really the king of the ring? Fuck. Wait, what? So I'm going on the, on the 15th. 
on the 15th of January, I'm going to commentate Zicky Dice's Outlandish Paradise, which is happening live right here on twitch.tv slash Ziggy Dice um, in Atlanta, Georgia. You can get your tickets now. You're telling me that I'm going to go there and they're going to, I'm going to, I'm going to know every, what, what? You're telling me that I'm going there to just call predetermined matches? What have I been doing with my life? Wait, what about what about Hood Slam? What about Hood Slam? Chat, I, I was I was at Hood Slam last month. Comment, I, I did some commentary on two matches there, and one of the wrestlers, one of the wrestlers who who had died, became a zombie and then ate some other people. Was all that fake too? That was real. No, that was real. Okay. No, that one was real? Okay. I mean, the crowd was chanting, this is real, while it was happening, so... So, that makes sense. Yeah. The crowd was chanting, this is real. Wait, Hood Slam is where Priscilla Kelly made the other one eat the tampon? I didn't know that. You guys just fucked with me, though. I don't know, man. This is all bothering me now, though. Wait, can all of you really see John Cena? I don't think that was Hood Slam. Yeah, I don't think that was Hood Slam. Although if it wasn't Hood Slam, I would I wouldn't be surprised at all. Like you know what I mean? That the small amount of time I spent there, that seems like something that I could totally get picked. I love Hood Slam more than I love like just about anything. Hood Slam was probably the most fun I've ever had at a wrestling event. Honestly, Hood Slam was incredible. If you guys are in the Bay. And you ever get a chance to see Hood Slam, you absolutely 100% need to. How's the poor case? I haven't tried it yet. My mind was so blown about wrestling being scripted. Just, just getting over that. There's definitely competition for WWE now, but um, it's just a really silly thing. I mean, the, the NFL's doing it too, you know? Yeah, the NFL's doing the same thing. And they're doing it because they are putting their hands up in there and saying, fuck it. Yeah. The NFL is also scripted. Guys, I can't handle this today. Oh my god. Uh, the NFL is only testing unvaccinated symptomatic players. You know? Of course, they were testing everyone all the time. Um, and the reason, more so than any other reason, the only real reason to do that is because they're losing 30 players a week. Yeah.
Uh, Space Cadet Mars, thank you for the gift sub. Is it true you're really just eating Lunchables and not charcuterie? Uh, I mean, could be. My wife could be bringing me Lunchables. Charcuterie is just Lunchables for adult. I mean, they do have a lot in common, Charcuterie and Lunchables. Other way. You watch Sub-Zero rip, of, uh, rip off of a man's head at Hood Slam? <laughs> uh, Hood Slam had uh, my buddy Anton, actually. He, was, he played Link. Yeah, in mid slam for a long time. In fact, that motherfucker should get back to playing Link. He's not a real gamer if he doesn't get uh get back to Link. The Link to the Future, Anton. Yep. Yeah. He's a he's a garbage gamer. Tell him I said he's a garbage gamer. You can you can clip this and tweet at him. I'm disappointed in him. He's not a real gamer anymore. Wait, why are these not going? Definitely not starting an angle right here. Why does your nose run and your feet stink? My feet don't stink. I wear different shoes all the time. Yeah. socks wear socks get like three pairs of shoes and rotate them you know so you don't wear the i mean you can get three pairs of the same shoes right and just rotate them and they never sink and they last a lot longer your shoes are going to last a lot longer if you wear different pairs every couple days so you'd be like oh i'm spending more you know who can afford three shoes but they last longer so Get pedicures? Whoa, whoa, we know who the rich guy in chat is. Damn it, I keep doing it. Make sure you actually wash feet, your feet and don't just let water run on them. Okay, listen, I, do, I just don't, I think, just from the stories I've heard from women, I feel like most dudes don't know how to wash themselves. Just buy a house is cheaper in the long run. Um, listen, dude, I think buying three pairs of $30 vans at Payless is a lot different than buying a house. All right? I don't think that was the same. I I, I, I don't know why Scanta Claws. I got to explain that. Is the music supposed to sound like Mega Man X? I mean, there's been a lot of Mega Man music in this. Vans at Payless. Um, I mean, I've gotten Jordans at Ross. Nice Jordans at Ross. I'm not buying $300,000 pairs of shoes. Are there $300,000 pair of shoes? questions online that people don't wash their groin taint ass? What? Like, probably the main place I wash. You go the other way!
Um, solid gold Air Jordans are the most expensive shoes. Two million dollars. Has this level been going on for uh, 10 minutes? Oh. Balls. We don't even know where to buy a shoes less than $70,000. Oh. Dang, I didn't know y'all have her balling like that. Says the non sub. Oh shit. How's my thump? That's your tuition? 70,000 a year? shouldn't but been in contact with your childhood friend after 15 years after he moved to Japan and I know I shouldn't say anything but F it just the way you're spelling this makes me worry and he says a new Mega Man X game is in dev and couldn't tell me much but Mario Maker 3 soon he just nuked you with leaks I don't know man I don't know if that's a reliable source I got an uncle who worked at Nintendo, and he told me none of that's happening. I don't know. Listen. I'm going to believe it, though, because I want it to happen. I want both of those things to happen. So, I'm, you know what, chat? I'm choosing to believe that. Yeah. That's how it works on the internet. You don't, it, the information isn't, doesn't need to be right. It just needs to be what you believe. What you want to be right. Therefore, if you believe it, it's correct. guy at the barb factory and he thinks grand Pro world 3 is coming soon late oh. late 2022 why what am i doing here? Oh. probably like right when breath of the wild is coming out it'd actually be a genius move he releases grand Pro world 2 right when breath of the wild 2 comes out right all the mario guys play that instead of Breath of the Wild, he gets all the Mario people that want to watch Breath of the Wild. Yeah, you, you get what I'm saying. You heard a certain streamer needs to beat Sekiro first? Then he can watch his friends stream it without spoilers. It's just genius all the way around. the last ROM hack he's making because he gets asked about it so much. Um, 
I don't think Barb's gonna stop creating, so I wouldn't worry about that. But um, no, he's been work. He's kind of been working on specifically Mario World Rombax almost nonstop for five, six years now. I don't blame him for wanting to do something a little bit different. Screw that up. The Celeste Act's coming out January 25th, and we were. I was thinking that. Uh, I was talking with Mark about it, and maybe even have him, like, come on stream or something for the first couple hours we're playing. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I say shit all the time that I'm never gonna do something again and then go back. You know? I'm retired from Mario 3. Does anyone think I'm actually not gonna play Mario 3 again? If you make a Grand Poo World mascot, can you show up to speedrun sessions? Are you basically? Are, are, listen, listen, Space Cadet Mars. If you want to make a, if you want to make a Graham Pooh Bear furry costume, right? If that's what you're, if that's what you're really asking me, and you just want to have permission to get it made, and not be weird about it, like if that's what you're really asking me, you can, you can say that, all right? I'm gonna need some royalty fees on it. If you're doing it in my bear costume, but... What do I do there? Are there going to be new speedrun sessions events in 2022, Omicron with Sanding? Uh, yes. Yes, I, I want to do some more events. I kick left and it wrap, wraps right? I don't think I have enough time for that. different streamer lost a charity thing to Uno. Now he has to take an overdrive from Uno. Dude, I would love for that shit. Samurai Poet, we've already been through this. Probably not. You, you know that's not the place. Uh... Do 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 do. Yeah, my grand don't no. my grandpa died from Omicron, so um yeah, you probably don't want to say that it's not shit earlier this month. But like, you know, just for me personally. You know what I mean? Kind of a dick thing. Oh. Um Yeah, I mean I would love a new Mega Man X game. Uh, I would love a new Mega Man X game, personally. Oh, shit. Uh, there's no reason to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. Yeah, I don't want to talk about it, either. At all. This doesn't make anybody happy. It's a boring conversation at this point. We've all, we've all, we've heard everything. Everyone's heard everything. Everyone, everyone that wants to argue about it is going to say the same fucking five sentences that we've heard. Oh! My Christmas was awesome. Uh, yeah, we had, I mean, it's just really fun, man. My kid's three, so he just loves everything. But he, um, like, he definitely, like, wants to like play with the toys like he wants to open them and play with them right away and then oh shit 
and then get that. Coolest toy we got B for Christmas. Um, I don't know what my favorite thing we got him is. Um, his birthday, I think he actually has a lot cooler stuff coming for his birthday because that's gonna be in our new house. We didn't get him any Legos because he's too young for Legos. And I know he's too young for Legos because I had a Lego advent calendar this year. And it was just, you know, small little Lego things and he was just not with it. Um, the Lego, the minifigs that came out of it though were awesome. I got like, we got like this little like Mando and Baby, uh, Baby Yoda minifigs. They're super cute. Legos are so tasty. Uh, we're literally lucky he doesn't put anything in his mouth, but he's just not ready for it. If you ever want to help raise money if I have cancer, you can tell me the other streamer who else is normally involved and it's people you know and there are a ton of good people. Um, Kane Lentz, um, I've ever raised lots of money for cancer, but I'm pretty much sticking now. Like for my own personal things, and I'll, I'll do guest spots for other people's charities, but for my own personal charities, I'm pretty much going to be doing Wings for Life uh, Direct Relief in St. Jude. Uh, those are the charities that... Um, mean the most to me, you know what I mean? Those The impacts I'm seeing on those charities are the ones that uh, really impact me. And that's not to say I won't do like a couple other ones, you know, like I really like Gamer Outreach. I love um, I love Steven Spawn's charity um, a lot. That's not to say I won't do other ones, but those are the main ones I'm gonna do, yeah. Those are the main ones I'm gonna do. Any plans for New Year's? Um, we're going to try and get our kid to stay up for midnight. Direct Relief is amazing, yeah. And I look forward to working with Direct Relief much more in the future. What do I do there? What do I do there? I don't know. Can't do charity streams too often. No, it bleeds you guys of cash. Oh. Emmy. Um, I wish charities understood that. And I also wish charities didn't treat... Charities, especially this last year, have started to treat... because, And I understand why. Because in this day and age, you can't have, like, you know, your fucking bougie dinner fundraiser, right? So there's been a lot more charities that have been reaching out to streamers, but they don't know what they're doing and they just want to like... All right, you know, here, 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 run an event all on your own time and then, you know, that's it. Whereas those other three charities are really doing, like they've really embraced gaming. Uh, if that makes sense. St. Jude Direct Relief and, um, Wings for Life. They really embrace gaming and, you know, have gamers, like, involved in their things. And that, that actually means a lot to me. You know? You're so sad you missed the Christmas special? Well, you can watch the VOD. What about Dodgers Without Borders? Well, I mean, that's a GDQ charity. So, um, you know, if I do GDQ, I'll be supporting that charity, absolutely. But, like, as far as my, it's just, like, for my own, my own events and my own things that I'm gonna be doing from here on out, it'll, it'll be focused on those three. Yeah. I, I just can't really, I can't, it's impossible to, to do it all. You know what I mean? And support everyone. Exactly. Good luck. The year of Pooh Bear Charity Streams. Well, I'm, at, I'm really bummed. I don't think I'm going to make the top 25 list this year for money raised to charity. 
I know, I'm really bummed. I just didn't... I might make it. Like, there's a chance we might make it. I don't know what to do there. In Mario Hide and Seek, do I like the tag aspect? Yeah, I don't know how else you play it. I just wish you could tag with your cap. I wish Cappy could tag. That'd be the only thing that I would like more. Yeah, this will be the first year in two years I don't make the top 25 streamers for charity raise. Oh, come on. Ugh, this game's hard, dude. It's not too late. I have a few more days. I don't know. I mean, I don't know what the end is, and I'm not gonna. I'm not really worried about it. I don't really know what it wants me to do up there, chat. What's up, my pizza? Quesadilla. Um, yeah, I don't really have a problem that charities pay their employees. What? <laughs> yeah, that's not really something that bothers me. It's always weird when people are like, Tch. all this money for the charity goes to sound. I don't know, I people to do shit. I don't know, it's free. Oh. Am I not making the top 25 because, oh no, I, I raised less than normal this year. Yeah, I, I just raised less than normal. Um, this year, it was weird because I was playing so much GTA. It wasn't really a good way to do GTA charity stuff. Um, and I was also on hold, like a lot of stuff, you know, that we would do in the year was kind of like, oh, well, we get to do it in person, blah, 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 blah. Charities where 100% of their donations go to the cause have a big, they're usually funded by like a big private company that. I don't know what I'm doing there. I have no idea what I'm doing there, chat. I have no idea. Yeah. Um, I would agree with that. Like, my wife worked at a charity that, um, when one day she saw everyone's uh, salary there and when she saw what the board made and she knew how much the charity brought in for the year, she was like, I don't think I'm gonna work at this charity anymore. With that said, they do that charity does a lot of incredible work, actually, you know? But... that you can pack that away pack it away babe what's up i did make the jump but now i'm stuck on another jump hey bob hi hey i got money you got money how'd you get money how do we get money you climb ladders um we don't have fireballs in this game I have shells in this game. Oh. Oh. Yeah, there's no fireballs. Do we play Mario and you shoot the fireballs and Dada runs and jumps? Is that what we do now? Oh, oh yeah? I want the fire. You want the fireball one? Well, we can, after Dada's done working, we can play the fireball one. Does that sound good? 
Baker. After after Dada gets done working, we'll play the fireball one. You're a baker, you know that? Don't put the quarter by your mouth. It's gross. Yeah, it is. Oh, the rage. Uh, actually, you gotta get rid of that one. I gotta get rid of that one. It's a competing, it's a competing company. Yeah, you can donate that one. Donate. You can't, we, we're not playing the fireball one right now. We're playing, this is called Kaizo. This is called Advanced Shells. We're gonna have to do that after Dada is done working. Dada won't be done. Dada won't be that long either. Dada's gonna beat this level. He's gonna beat this level. Oh my god, you just farted on me. Did you just fart? No. You did just fart. Who farted then? Pump the pumpkin farted? I don't think pumpkins can fart. Chat, I don't get what to do right there. I literally don't get what to do. I have no earthly idea what to do. All right, Bubba, I love you. bring you down you want to stay up listen i don't want to have you i don't I, I i don't want you on stream that much though i don't want you working that much it's against child labor laws and you're so cute and um i don't want to exploit your cuteness i don't want the people to think you want to exploit your cuteness if if i could i would keep you out of this room but you know how to open doors so um i don't want people to think i'm exploiting you for subs and donations your adorableness like exploit you by saying can i please have your twitch prime yeah damn it damn it okay i love you go get your microphone where's your microphone go get your microphone you shut my door? I love you. <laughs> Grizzhawk, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much for the five gift subs, Grizzhawk. I am not worthy of that. I really appreciate it. He is he's super adorable. He's getting cuter by the day. Um he was having a, he was having some moments. Like he got he got less cute and you know like to now, but like now he's going back up on the, cute, the cuteness scale. Yeah. He already knows how to make me money for free. Motherfucker. Have I tried the less, the less, I mean, I tried the straightforward barber approach of give me your money, idiot. Just saying, give me your money. Give me your sub, idiot. You fucking dumbasses. Give me your fucking subs. What do I do there? It doesn't even make sense, dude. The level, guys, I can't throw through that gate. Hold on, I'm gonna get back there. I'm gonna get back there. Barb pulls out the cat for cash. Yeah, you just gotta exploit something cute. Uh, hey, it's Nova Bound, thank you so much. Uh, 
Uh, she's awesome, amazing. Thanks for all the subs, idiots. Rogue Attacker, thank you for the sub, idiot. Yeah, it's got a gate that eats the shell. And also, it doesn't... Right there, it also doesn't screen wrap. It just explodes. You want a sub? I want a toilet made of gold. We don't always get what we want. There's a wall there. Yeah, but it explodes before the wall. Either way, there is a gate that explodes the shell. Here, we're gonna get there. Maybe we can draw some diagrams. Uh, bitch. Will become another penis diagram. What are you talking about? Yeah, what do you wait? What are you talking about, dude? I, I like. I'm with you. It feels like screen wrapping has to be the thing. Oh, like Mario screen. Oh, actually, that might. That, that's actually probably the most likely thing, Chad. Mario screen wraps, but um, the shell doesn't. I actually like where we're going on that. That actually feels that actually feels good. How bad does my hand hurt? Um, pretty bad, <laughs> but whatever. All diagrams are penis diagrams. I don't think all my pictures look like penises. Right? Okay. Oh man, actually that does feel right now. You know that you know. I actually, I Chad, I actually think you're right. I actually think you're right. I think I think Mario's gonna screen wrap. So I'm gonna jump up. Okay, here, here we go. Damn it. Damn it. I know exactly what happened there, too. Anyway. Anyway, chat. I know, just ruin, just ruin my fucking, just ruin my stream right here. I know exactly what happened, too, why it froze. I'm I I I'm adding I added some special shit. Anyway, we're gonna we're gonna throw that shell right there. We're gonna hit off of it right there, okay? So we're throwing it here, we're hitting off of it there. Okay? Right there. Then then we're gonna wrap around until we land right there. You know what I mean? Kinda like that type of thing. But yeah, so so here we go. So we're wrapping around right there. So again, like we're coming from right over here. Then we're throwing the shell this way, right? So we're throwing the shell this way and this way. We're going that way. Shell's going this way. We're landing on it right there. You know, like right there, we're landing on it. So this, you know, we're gonna be we're gonna be coming from this side. The shell's coming from that side, and we're landing right here. Then hopefully we'll grab the shell right around there, and then we'll jump up, up there. Right up there, right up there, you know, and um, we'll continue on our journey. You know? Does that make sense? You never imagined it like that? It changes everything? I know, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Freaking love me. 
freaking love you too. Uh, Miso Thelomia, thank you so much. Damn it. You can't see the can't wait, what? Why are you talking about penises on my stream, dude? This is a fucking PG stream. A family stream. For some reason for some reason you always thought that coin was a myth. Mustache looks so cool. Listen, I appreciate it, but you don't have to lie to kick it. <laughs> this mustache, it's, it's literally looks worse than it ever has. I feel like this is the worst look. <sighs> it's so bad right now. No one under 18 should be watching this. Uh, I, you know what? I will say this. There's definitely worse streams you can watch that don't curse. You know? As far as life lessons. Who gets rid of the stash first? Me or Barb? Um, well, considering I almost shaved mine this morning, but was too lazy, I, I'm going to say me. How long does he have to keep his on? Oh. 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 Barb has wife approval. Oh, my wife loves this stash. She's digging it, but it's also because my wife's only looked at me. What do I want to say? First of all, first of all, something's going in in the water where women are really digging mustaches right now. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's because collectively we've gotten less creepy over the last few years. And like there's like some sort of like um, creepy like uh, Stockholm syndrome going on. That's one theory. But stashes are in right now. Yeah. Chicks are digging the stash. Just like chicks dig the, the tooth gap and the bald head, they're digging the stash. I don't know why. No, go the other way, bitch. Oh, just fashion like anything else. You're not a you're not a chick, but the stash could get, still get it. Hey, hey, up, not a chick. Up, not a girl. Oh, sorry, my hands a little a little feeling a little rough right now. I also think there's a thing that like I've had one look for. 23 years pretty much been rocking baby face shaved head for 23 years now all of a sudden i have a mustache it's like she's boning someone else even though even if the, that person's like you know like looks like he's waits to ask people to buy him cigarettes at a gas station yeah is manscaping in or out uh, trimming your junk will always be in. Trimming your junk just makes good sense. It's better advertising. It's better advertising for your junk. Yeah. Yeah, it shows you care and listen. 
Um, I had a big tree in my backyard, but it didn't look like that big a tree, right? Because I had big bushes right next to the tree. Yeah. And then once we trim those bushes down a lot lower, you really got a sense of how big that tree was. Also, just by like a logistics standpoint, like, way better airflow. You need a diagram of trimming a tree? You guys, you don't know what a tree trim's like? What should your son's first video game be? Uh, me and my son started playing the regular Mario Brothers together. That's why he was asking for fireballs. He wanted to shoot the fireballs. Um, because he shoots the fireballs and I play. Yeah, um, the original Mario Brothers is great because it's two buttons. Um, it's very simple. Every jump can be made except for one without running. Uh, so they don't have to hold a button. Um, there's no text in it. So they don't feel like they're missing something. Yeah. Duck Hunt is great, but, I mean, the thing is with Duck Hunt is that kids just cheat in Duck Hunt. They just light gun right to the front. Yeah, but that text says, like, good job, you know what I mean? Our princess is in another castle. Oh, yeah, you also need a CRT for Duck Hunt to work. That is pretty key, too. How will he learn the lore? Um, buy him a fucking Mario Brothers Night Night book, dude. Like a real parent. You also cheated Duck Hunt like that in your 36? Same. Yeah, my kid, my kid grabs some of my books, like my big giant books, and he's like, read this, read this, and I'll just make up stories. Uh, this is tough. Uh, a rockin', thank you for 11 months. The level's a rockin'. Don't come a-knockin'. If I told my kid the story about how I got my name, no. It's an expensive story, man. I can't wrap it back around, no. Oh, 
Dude, how accurate was that diagram though, chat? How accurate was that diagram? Why not just keep the name Nilla DH? Because nobody could read it right? Enough years of playing Halo taught me that nobody would read that name right. Uh, I think my name helps me. It's easy to remember. I don't think it hurts me. Got, it's got lots of uh, nicknames to it. Well, except that I can't be shown in China ever. get here. China's where the money's at. Well, there's, you know, six billion people. Oh. <laughs> exactly, yeah. It's Nilla in my initials. Because I couldn't get vanilla most places. Either way, that's a very old screen name. And I don't I would not go by it anymore. That's that's the uh, you know the, the middle school screen name. I couldn't get... No. I never tried. I didn't want that name on Twitch. You just kept your middle school handle, Slasherman EXE. I can tell when someone has a middle school handle, yeah. How do I do this? Um, practice? The fact that I'm calling it a screen name, what would you call it? have a good handle for middle school your props to you screen names very AOL but you still use the two you've been using the same uh, username since runescape and you realize you could make it something better and that's the key My hands like my hands like cramping, chat. Yeah, my hands like cramping, dude. This one's hot. This one's tough. It's an extensively hard game. Only got one exit today, dude. Not good. Ah. My dad still has hotmail. Made fun of him the other day for it. This is a tough hack, yeah, it's a tough hack. Hard game hard, man. <laughs> we failed the final jump. 3,000 times. I know, and then I fucking did it in a way that just was easier than the way I was trying to do it. Oh, okay, and then, okay, I got it. I get what we're doing here. You've had so many names. I've had a bunch of emails. I've had probably like, I don't know, 30 different Grand Pooh Bear emails at this point.
Oh, you bitch. God, my hand gets tired. You remember all your terrible emails? I wish I still had my college email. That's the one I still wish I had. I dot edu. I throwing that one oh. uh those discounts exactly you want, I want those college discounts with the dot edu email Ours, ours stayed active for like, it's like, it was like three years after, and then it shut down. And the funniest part, so your college, like at the time I went to college, you know, it was relatively early in the email game of college. So they give you first dot last name. Yeah. First name dot last name at whatever dot edu. You know what I mean? And, um, my saw so my junior year. There clearly was another kid with my first dot last name because all of a sudden I started getting emails for all sorts of freshman classes, right? All sorts of freshman classes that this guy was getting. And, and I always just thought to myself, I was like, dude, this kid was fucked right out the gate. He's getting none of these notifications. Doesn't know when his classes are canceled. Doesn't know anything. You know what I mean? Like, this kid isn't getting all of, any of his shit. He was just fucked right out of the gate. Yeah. I wonder how long it took for them to figure that out. Sorry, Chad. I'm literally just killing time. My thumb is murdering me in here. Yeah. Time to switch the game and watch. Dude, I want this. I want this. Yeah, I want this. I was thinking about doing some Lumi runs as well today. You know what I mean? Oh shit. Don't injure myself, a scrabble cooldown. I mean, I already, I already fucked my viewership by screw by the stream going out. So, uh, two point. Thank you for six months. Have you ever done the Lumi skip? Yeah, I did it during GDQ. But on a crappy, a crappy run. That was a fun run, yeah, I had a good time on that run, too. Uh, yeah, I did a, like, a, Lu a Lumen run just for GDQ, yeah. Um, like just for their channel. It's on YouTube if you want to watch it. It was good. Yeah, it was a fun run. Yeah, for their show Game Masters. Uh, with Fan. Oh, 
Oh my god. Um, yeah, well, I, it's a lot easier. Here's the thing, chat. When I go on GDQ channel, um, not that I don't care, but I don't mind making a fool of myself at this point. Holy God, this hurts my hand. Oh my God. I don't know if I can keep my hand, like, not tired. My thumb is dead. Ah. Oh. I might have to, we might have to quit. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to come back to this tomorrow. My thumb is just tired, chat. That last level wore me out. I do, that's what they feel like right now. <laughs> Bitch. How long in this level? Uh, about an hour-ish. Is the gamer's equivalent to writer's cramp? Gamer cramp? Yeah, I got a thumb. It's literally like thumb cramp right now. Right there, like the right there, it starts to get really tired. Dolphins or Saints tonight? Uh, listen, I'm rooting for, I don't care who wins, Dolphins or Saints. I'm rooting for 40 fantasy points combined from Tua and Alvin Kamara. Totally, absolutely doable. Absolutely doable. 32 from Alvin Kamara, 12 from Tua. That's what I need. Yes. Yeah, it was just, it's just been tough. Um, fantasy football playoffs, I mean, just like football has just been tough to field a team, yeah. You got rewarded. Uh, didn't Tua just test positive? When? Before the game this morning? What? Wait, is Tua out? Is that real? Tell me that's not real. Tua's playing, right? No, Tua's playing. I need 44 points out of Tua and Kamara. Youth, youth, youth. No, two is playing. We're good. We're good. We're good. You had me worried for a second. Yeah. But yeah, take some hills out. Which I really don't think affects. Honestly, I think that might be better for Camara. Oh, I would have been like, well, Jacoby Brissett, let's go.
No! <sighs> Progress. I should have played Davis Mills. That's who I should have played, man. No, you bitch. Do you like PPR? No. PPR, I'm gonna say this, PPR is the dumbest fucking thing in fantasy football. I hate PPR so much. PPR is a relic from the time when when it wasn't a passing league. But now it's a, definitely a passing league. Uh, any advice for first time snowboarder? Don't fall. Half PPR is the best set? No, no PPR. You shouldn't get a point for a, a running back screen that loses four yards. You shouldn't earn a point for that. You should get yards. I would be okay with point per first down achieved. That seems like a much smarter thing than PPR. reception um listen if you plan on snowboarding a lot and if you plan on going a lot and snowboarding interests you yeah you should snowboard if you plan on going once a year just ski yeah just ski you'll have a lot more fun you'll be a lot happier snowboarding takes a lot more dedication to get at a an adequate level than skiing does. Skiing can get an adequate level half a day. Oh no, what did I want to do there? Oh my gosh. This level feels so long. Dude, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Like, give me an H. It, I, dude, my hand gets tired, but when we get right before that drop jump, my hand is dead. Like, my hand is dead right when we get to that drop jump. It's so tired by then. Yeah. Yeah, if you skateboard, if you skated, then you should try, just go snowboarding. If you skated, for sure. The skate, if you skated, if you skated, you understand how important your front foot is. You know what I mean? Whereas that's like, that's most people's big problem. Uh, yeah, day, day one of snowboarding is rough, dude. The first day of snowboarding is rough, if you, especially if you've never skated before or like wakeboarded. Um, wakeboarding, though, is not super helpful. Skating super helpful, but um, yeah. Well, if you rollerbladed, that's different. <laughs> uh, I can, I would say this. If you're going to snowboard, too, just spend the money to get a fucking lesson. It's going to make you a lot happier. What about surfing? Um, I don't know, just because I've never surfed, so I can't tell you how the translation of surfing...
I've caught two waves on a bodyboard and I felt like it was the coolest thing I'd ever done in my life. Uh, yeah, I did. I know about them. You can't really borrow a size 15. You don't need custom boots for size 15. They have size 15 boots at rental shops, for sure. Maybe not at Tiny Mountains, but if you go to, you know, like, Heavenly or fucking Vale or something, easy, yeah. Oh, There's a lot of rental shops all over the town, dude. You can rent you, you can rent stuff other than at the mountain itself. Yeah. In fact, never rent stuff at the fucking mountain. Rent stuff at a shop next to the mountain. Cuz you'll get actual gear, not fucking you know, ass shit. Step in bindings and fucking crap. Chat, I think I'm gonna do some Lumi runs. I'm, I, my hand's like crushing me, dude. Oh. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna be real. My hand is crushing me right now. I think we're gonna move to some Lumi runs. Oh. We'll come back to this tomorrow. Oh. 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 Yeah, is everyone cool with that? Put a one in chat if you're okay with that. Put a one in chat you're okay with that. Oh. oh. Who put 69? Who put 69? Hands really feeling rough, dude. Why is this showing my? I don't. What I don't get is why is it showing my like running against my best? Compare against personal best. There we go. I don't know why that was happening. No, I don't remember that. All right, we ready? This will be, a, we're just gonna do a one run. We won't reset, probably. My screen's cut off at the bottom. Uh, might be a little. Have a good one over common. Oh my god, why does this feel so awkward all of a sudden? It's like, it's because I'm not shell jumping, I feel super awkward. <laughs> I'm not shell jumping, I feel super awkward right now. Uh, thank you, 
the goofinator. I greatly appreciate that. Oh, reset. We are resetting. I lied. Feels much slower, doesn't it? Doesn't it feel so much slower? <laughs> Diamond Peak got 111 inches? I believe it, dude. There's so much snow in Tahoe. Are we going to see the skip that cost me the world record? Yeah, yeah, I'll do that skip. So, I mean, there's a free, it's a free, like, fucking minute. You know what I mean? Oh, come on, man. When's my SMB3 hat coming out? Never. Yeah, let's just be real. It's never coming out. Never, ever, 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 ever coming out. Uh, I've been watching old videos. Um, have I watched Lord of the Rings yet? No, I have not watched Lord of the Rings. I've still not seen it. a good looking hack this hack's fucking awesome yeah this hack's so good how is that possible that i've never seen lord of the rings because it's so long it's so long you know what i mean like just watching that movie takes forever and there's three of them oh Watch one a year? Well, then how will I appreciate the lore? Oh my god, I'm an idiot. So long, but you just spent 3.5 hours on a bad jump? It wasn't a bad jump, and I had to beat it. Yeah. So the man who just spent four hours doing one jump? Listen, bitches, you all watched me do that jump. I didn't watch you do that jump. It's not my, it's not my fault y'all have so much free extra time. If you guys pay, if you guys, if you guys, if we wanted to watch this together and I could get subs, yeah. Come on. Yo, Big Cheese, how's the, how's the Babel Royale game going? Oh, I forgot to reset the timer, shit. Says the man who plays games for a living. Yeah, I play games for a living. You think there's times? You think there's time to watch movies? I'll be playing games for a living. This shit right here is real. It's raw. It's serious. most serious thing ever lord of the rings is real and raw and serious i mean what he just you know you just take the ring you stick it up your butt you poop it out when you get to your destination why is this even a thing why was it even a debate i feel like the whole movie could have been solved if they just you know proto just stuck the ring up his ass Is there a rule against that? You do not want to keister the one true ring? I mean, I just didn't know if there was a rule against it or something. Like, 
Did they go over rules when he got the ring? Someone asked Tolkien's ghost. Someone clip that bullshit? What? Your poops would be invisible? So, this just sounds awesome. Did I just break Lord of the Rings? Did I just credit warp? Lord of the Rings. Took longer than one digestive cycle to make this trip. Listen, you just re her, dude. It's pretty easy concept. God, we know the boring guy who's never snuck drugs into Mexico before. Jeez. Shit. You're gonna eat a poop ring? Wait, why do you eat the ring? The only rule is don't put it on. Nothing about putting it up your butt. Ah! I mean, listen. I feel like there's a distinct difference from having the ring keistered versus putting the ring on. Uh, check. You have to keep in mind, I've never seen these movies. I have no idea what's going on in Lord of the Rings. I don't know the rules. No. Golem had to have tried it at least once over the years. I don't know. I mean. I don't know. Again, never seen it. I mean, but I think there's probably like lots of little things that happen in movies that could drastically change them. You know what I mean? Like, if, if cell phones are around during Home Alone, like, that whole thing just doesn't happen. Hundred percent someone's coming in the ER with a Lord of the Ring replica ring in their bottom. Listen. There's one thing I know is that if people can stick it in their butt, they're going to. Like, that's one thing that, as a complete non-medical professional, I totally understand that to be truth of man. Listen, there's two truths of men, okay? Mankind, humans. Um, one is if you give them the tools to draw a penis, they're going to draw a penis. And two, and two, um, they're going to stick everything up their butt.
Yeah. If cell phones were around, every episode of Seinfeld wouldn't happen. Cell phones do ruin a lot of movie plots. They make horror movies in general harder. But I mean, I guess you can always just be like, there's no service. years what are the plot dice I don't know I mean tons of stuff I mean you just don't even know what the world's gonna look like in 30 years uh, probably car accidents would probably be the thing you know because we'll have so many self-driving cars and car accidents will be so rare at that point that'll be the one that people like what why did they get in car wrecks Uh, I saw there was a new Home Alone out on, like, Disney. Oh, uh, the Dino, thank you for 11 months. No Service Alone is just a horror movie? Listen, it's someone that had, um... Oh, shit. Uh, is someone that had, uh... Oh shit, I screwed that up. As someone who's had Boost Mobile for the last few years, um... Legit. No service just became part of my life. And if someone's like, why did you have Boost Mobile? Because I'm cheap, motherfucker. Cheap, baby. Oh, whoops. And the new one, he doesn't have a cell phone because he's a kid? The new home alone? Well, that's fair. But, like, doesn't... Can't he just, like, ask any adult for their cell phone? Track phone one? I don't think that's around here. I remember when roaming charges were a thing? Yeah, dude. Free nights and weekends. It's the only time I used to use my shit. No, he's alone? It's in the title? Well, what does he do? He's just alone the whole time? He doesn't interact with anyone? It's just one kid the whole time? That just seems like a boring movie. What kind of child actor is this that he can carry this whole movie with one performance? He's chilling on Twitch. The kid doesn't even know anyone's gone, so how does he set up traps and shit? I mean, I guess I could just watch this movie, but Christmas is over. I'm not watching Home Alone 6. I mean, I barely want to watch Home Alone 2. Cause like at that point, like Home Alone One, I like I have a little sympathy for Macaulay Culkin in Home Alone One. You know what I mean? Sure, he's a little shithead in the movie, but I have a little sympathy for him. Home Alone Two, I have no sympathy for the parents. I have no sympathy for Macaulay Culkin. I have no sympathy for anyone in in those movies at all. Call the cops, kid. You're you're clearly lost. Now you're just taking advantage of your dad's credit card. You know what I mean? You've already been through this. Like, wouldn't wouldn't 
wouldn't he at least call the cops when he saw the robbers he was trying to get away from in the first movie and he knew they had escaped from jail like wouldn't he have just called the cops then at that point i found them he chose exactly it, it by that movie the second movie he's like he's like no i want to get it on with these guys like i want to fuck them up that's what he was thinking dude it's personal exactly he wanted to fuck them up by then Oh shit. No, the first movie proves how absolutely incompetent police are, right? The first movie, it's insane. This this cop, this lady's telling you this kid's home alone. The cop goes and knocks on the door and is just like, no one's here. No one's here. Like, dude. The bad guy was a policeman? Was he a policeman in that? Or was he just pretending to be a policeman? I didn't really... I never really got that. Was he an actual policeman? Or he was, he was just pretending, right? Also scary in its own right. Well, yeah, I get the door-to-door. -door. I get what he was doing, like, how he was casing homes. It's a, it's a good way to case homes, but, like, I mean, I don't know. I feel like the cops should have gotten that clue at some point. But my point is, is that that one cop the one young cop that goes and knocks on Kevin's door while he's hiding underneath the... While he's hiding underneath the bed. That guy should lose his fucking badge, dude. That, that guy should straight up lose his badge. He knocks on the door for 30 seconds. And he's like, no one's home, boss. I don't know. This lady must be fucking dumb. Does she even have a kid? Are you sure she's not in Paris with him? That guy should have been delivering pizzas. I don't know, boss. I think the kid's dead. I don't really want to be the one to find the body, though. That seems like a lot of paperwork. And then everyone at the hotel, everyone at the hotel in Home Alone 2 should be fired. Every single person. Yeah. Somebody's lighting off fireworks outside my house. Uh, thanks, little bulldozer. Rob Schneider should definitely be. Rob Schneider should absolutely be, um, fire.
Yeah, I've, I, I'm sorry. The entire hotel staff needs to needs to be let go in that hotel. <laughs> the hotel bill would be outrageous. Um, well, you have to understand that it was made in the 90s. Um, a million dollars in the 90s versus a million dollars now is two drastically different things. When that movie was made, I'm pretty sure Michael Jordan is making like 3.4 million a season. So, I mean, if that gives you the, the drastic difference. Yeah, just different. That bill didn't include the room. What about the airport workers? Wait, what's wrong with the airport workers in any of those movies? Wait, what'd the airport workers do? They couldn't get her on a flight? I mean, that's not their fault though. Their hands are tied. Have you ever dealt with a airline? No one's a bl no the no the the parent okay the parents definitely parents should get CPS we all agree on that right all right then Kevin is is acting like a little shit he's old enough to not act like such a little shit he knows how to dial nine one one he's fucking six seven years old you know how to dial nine one one by that point all right then third the cops actually Kevin's cops probably in front of Kevin because again he's eight yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. People watching Home Alone 2, if you've never flown pre-9-11, Home Alone 2 doesn't make a lot of sense. Right? You're like, that would never fucking happen if you've only flown post-9-11. But pre-9-11, dude, they just let you walk onto whatever fucking plane you wanted. They did not give a fuck, dude. Yeah. You could meet people at the gate, like... You can just sneak onto flights, like, as a as a different different world, dude. Like, I'm not saying the airline is somewhat responsible. But also, like, again, not to really rag on the parents, but how shitty of parenting do you have to be to, to sit in first class to sit in fucking first class and make all your kids sit in fucking coach. You're just like, yeah, stewardess, you deal with them. Yeah, you deal with them. I don't care. Uh, as a nine-year-old going through the airport by myself, I, on a, on a, um, on a, uh, like a layover, if any of you have, if any of you have broken homes, you understand what this means. Um, a layover, I got on the wrong plane during a layover once as a nine-year-old. I didn't fly, I didn't fly all the way there, but. I got off the plane and they got me on the right flight. Uh, but tears definitely were had. So, yeah. But again, pre-9-11. I don't know. Like, if, if to lose a kid one year... Like, that's my thing, though, is, like... Maybe the dad, maybe the dad would want to sit first class, but there's no way the mom's sitting first class that next year. Yeah. I need a D-Rust run here, chat. This is a D-Rust.
And the Callisters are just a shitty rich family? Dude, what kind of house is that? The dad owns a toy company? Wait, when do they say that? Do they ever reveal what the McAllisters do? I never I never saw that. The uncle's rich? And pays for all the flights? Well, I mean they're rich too, dude. Their house is fucking banging, man. Their house is dope as fuck. Probably an architect or something. Yeah, probably. Architects are all rich. That's a very rich person movie title. You know, um, rich person movie job. They're not richy rich rich, yeah. Yeah, that version of Macaulay Culkin is significantly richer. And now Macaulay Culkin's brother is like more popular than he is. He hosted uh, SNL, though, the, earlier this year. Whoops. Pretty sure if you home alone to burglar, they wouldn't survive? What do you mean? Dropped a fucking brick on him? Or I wouldn't survive? Well, yeah, they were going to cut off his fingers. You don't remember that? They were literally going to chew off his fingers. I mean, he got... People don't remember that. He gets bailed out by the old man that he calls a murderer for half the movie. Which doesn't really help that old man's case for not being a murderer, I would just say. Like, why was the old man in that house? What was he doing? Why did he have his shovel? Yeah. I don't think he's all the way truthful about... I don't think the old man's 100% truthful about things. That was his house? That wasn't his house. That house was the another neighbor that was going to... The kid that was rummaging through their bags at the beginning of the, a movie? That's that kid's house. They, they also went on vacation. Yeah. Home Alone was scripted. Listen, this is one of my favorite things to do is to break down what people are thinking in movies, all right? Don't take this from me. The neighbor has a spin-off movie where he turns out to be an actual serial killer. Uh, is that real? I don't know if that's canon or not, chat. I don't know if I trust that. Did he just make that for the internet? That sounds like something you do for the internet in a short YouTube video. Make a little bit of money.
Back check verified false. He becomes Jigsaw. A little bit of a little bit of a time save. A little bit of a time save. For the tube, I don't remember Flubber enough. Hmm. Which guy found that skip? It's fucking great. Uh, yeah, that saved a minute off my world record, pretty much. It's pretty much that. More or less. Part of the screen's cut off. I think it's definitely part of the screen's cut off right now. I can fix it right after this run. It's easy fix, actually. They both got hit by bowling balls from space in Flubber? Yeah, that might kill a man. You'd watch the origin story of the Wet Bandits in a goddamn heartbeat? Yeah, I kind of agree with that. Oh shit, I fucked up. Have any of you watched the new Save by the Bell? Or have any of you seen the preview for the new Fresh Prince? The ultra serious Fresh Prince. Oh, come on. Uh, Glitch Cat's got the world record right now. Yeah, he cracked my world record a week or two ago. Bitch. Wasn't there something for that one? Yeah, there was something cool for that one, too. Uh, Zach Morris is in the new one. Um, everyone's in the new one. I'm pretty sure they even make a reference to, um, Jesse Spano stripping at some point, too. You know, because whole showgirls thing. I watched the YouTube series Zach Morris is trash. But yeah, Zach Morris is a horrible human being, dude. What do you mean? He, first of all, he has the ability to literally stop time. Like a proven, a, su a proven superhero in canon ability to stop time. And what does he use it for? Stop people making out with Kelly Kapowski to like put people in the way of a punch he's about to take. At no point does he ever use his, his literal superpower to help anyone. Now, don't get me wrong, Zach's a softie. 
you know, um, but, you know, he, he'll clean up a duck from an oil spill. He'll go on dates with, you know, uh, take disabled girls to prom for the clout. Um, he has some moments. Uh, but then in college, then in college, he claims that his ex-girlfriend died to get ass from someone else. And then when that ex-girlfriend shows up, just goes right back to her. Yeah. I mean, out of all the things he does, I feel like claiming your ex-girlfriend's dad, or your ex-girlfriend's dead, sorry, is pretty bad. Ross from Friends is trash, too. I don't know enough about Friends, but probably. Oh, come on. I'm an idiot. Oh my god, I'm so bad. I'm, I'm complete. I, I have no idea what I'm doing here. No concentration. I'm over here just thinking about all the ways that Zach Morris has wronged, wronged people. Proof, thank you for two months. <laughs> the nineties. The nanny? I never watched the nanny. The 90s just told it how it was. I don't think the 90s had any idea how it was. The people romanticize the past. The past always seems better than it was and the future seems scarier than it is all the time. That's a common theme throughout humanity. We're scared of the future and we romanticize the past because it wasn't, you know, when you look back on it all the time, it wasn't that bad. <laughs> oh yeah, things, things look, things will get better. They'll keep getting better. We'll keep thinking they're worse, but they're really better. Oh, shit. No, we're just sub- like... It, things just seem worse now because... People that were- people that you knew were insane, because you know what- Alright. The people that like, 
we're holding signs and we're like, you're gonna die in a couple days. You know, now those people have, you know, they run entire Facebook groups with membership from all over the world, you know what I mean? So they're just louder. And more dumb. Climate change? Oh yeah, we're never fixing climate change though. That really is getting worse. Well, that, that's not even true. Like, we're in, a, uh, we're in a much more realistic spot. We're just not doing it fast enough. You know what I mean? But that's not true. Like, even you just look at like promotion, uh, pollution among major cities. Yeah. I would, I would even say we're, we're, you know, heading, heading, we're, we're, we're doing better. You know? Acid rain? I forgot that was. Does that still happen? Oh, are you kidding me? Gotta remember too, not every uh, country is R1. And I'm sure there's, you know, countries out there where it feels like, it feels like a lot more is being done. Funny how acid rain disappeared after 1993. Uh, I don't think it disappeared. I'm sure it still happens in certain places. Um, but I think mostly is that when you're getting rained on acid, you, you try to make a pretty impactful change. You know what I mean? That's a lot. What do I want to see? That's a lot more immediate. People react to a more immediate threat. You know what I mean? You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Do we fix it? No, but we're not. What I'm saying is like, I don't know, if anyone is alive in the 90s, it's a lot better than it used to be. Yeah, we're a lot better than we used to be. There you go. There you go. We made it, we reduced sulfur in the atmosphere and we got rid of acid rain. Amazing how that happened. Rollerblades were the shit. Yo, rollerblades are uh, making a huge comeback right now. Skating in general, like rollerblading and quad skating is like super big. Yeah. But even like rollerblades at skate park, which is something I never thought would come back, is coming back. Do skating rinks still exist? Oh yeah, dude. Skating rinks still exist. I mean, you gotta think the upkeep on the skating rink's pretty low. Oh, balls. <gasps> your nephew just had a birthday party at a skating rink? You still have your blades and they still fit? Dude, my brother-in-law skates all around. 
He's all about skating. He skates everywhere. That's like his thing. His people. He goes, they go, they have like, um, like little groups that they meet, like at a random place, and then they skate all over the city in like big giant parade style, you know what I mean? Basically take over a city block and block to block. Oh, yeah. It's a thing, man. I see, uh, girls in rollerblades, or not rollerblades, and just quad skates and skate parks all the time now. They be getting it. the world needs to do a better job at giving Dan House the money uh listen they need to give me monies first I want a blimp I've been talking about a blimp long before Dan Housen has all right I think he stole that from me damn it Ever drop a tab and go roller skate for a few hours? No. no? I'm a dad. No, I'm a dad. This hack looks fun. This hack's super fun. I need to de-rust a little bit, though. Nothing beats TGIF in that era. I would agree. Um, Chad, I'm going to pee. I'm going to use this opportunity to go do a quick break. We're going to do some more runs, though, after this. A lot more runs. Three more runs. Four more runs. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. Whatever. Yeah. Nice mash, I got it. I think we should be good. Uh, the bottom of the screen still clearly cut off. Hold on, let me try something. Uh, remove. Game capture, wait, no. Um, video capture device, retro capture. Oh, that didn't work. How do you do that? That should be better now. I should be better now. Uh, I gotta, I gotta use Wrath and Justice. Clear it up.
hands, chat, my hands. How far can I get deathless? I mean, I think eventually I can do the whole thing deathless. Oh, he got it down to 3129? Ooh, that's tough. That's tough. One, two, three, go. I closed my bathroom, it was quick. Uh, we're in a really tiny house. Yeah, we're in a really, really, really tiny house. Uh, we'll be in a bigger one soon. Not like huge, but definitely bigger. Only had like one or two deaths. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. I don't think I had that many on my last one. Did I wash my hands? Yes. And then I moisturized my hands after that. Lost about 14 seconds. That's it. Ugh, that's gonna be that's gonna be tough. Did I moisturize your hands. Yeah, this is any percent. I wish that guy, I wish there was a way to like early spawn that dude or something. I hate, I, I absolutely hate waiting right there. Yeah. Is there a category for collecting moons? Yes. Uh, yeah, I think it's 100% and then they have a pride percent. So there's three categories, but I only run one. I don't want to run the 100%. It just seems exhausting. If it had a drastically different last level, I would do it. Uh, and Seno, thank you so much for that sub. I really, really appreciate it. For 47 months. Dickinson for 43 months. 80 proof. Bees nuts. I have a Michael Hunt who just subbed for six months. Uh, I don't even know what that is, horseshoes, no. Oh, fuck me in the dick. No, pride percent's too long. Like, I don't, I don't really want to run it, and I don't, I don't particularly... I like the message of the last level, but I don't particularly like it as a level. You know what I mean? Like, it's just not particularly a um, exciting level to me. Uh, but yeah, I'd be totally down to run some... Some hacks. Uh, some SM64 stuff. I want to do some more SM64 stuff, and I want to do some Odyssey stuff, too. Really bizarre labyrinth pack? No thanks. Uh, Pride Percent's just a, it's a level that just goes all the way through. It plays every single level of this game. There's a hidden level at the end that's a Pride Day theme level. Almost died right there from scratching my nose, but it needed to happen. Yeah, it's a cool level to play once, but it's a long level. Like, it's a very, very, very long level. Yeah.
The old nose. Ah, the old nose death. Ah, yeah, see? The old nose death, see? Teddy, thank you for 16 months. Boom, 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 boom. Who rocking the dad stash? I think I gotta be done with it. Why did this music sound familiar? Because it's pretty much every song and every ROM hack are gonna have been in a video game before. Say Ablas en Espanol. Yeah, but what was that song? Is it especially familiar? I don't know. Yeah, I couldn't tell you. I'm sorry. Hey, my hand legitimately is still cramped from that game earlier, chat. It is still super fucking cramped. Hydrate? Not a hydration cramp. Like a little legitimately like it's like tired. If that makes sense. Gotta look good. You just gotta keep it. You just gotta keep it looking good. I think that's the key. Uh, chat. Can everyone spam your favorite animated emote in chat, please? Uh, just for my own sanity. because Barb Dumper was removed. I'll never, never forgive Twitch for that one. Dude, Poo Vibe is by far my most used emote uh, since it's come in. Since Poo Vibe has come in, it's got like double the next closest emote. And probably more than my bottom 40 emotes together, yeah. And poo pew pew, yeah, as well. Poo pew pew is uh, number two, yeah. We gotta de-rust anyway, chat. We gotta de-rust anyway.
Yeah, let's just keep going. The use of water in this reminds you of Celeste. I do love this game a lot. It's just really fun. It's a fun speedrun. I think it's like visually pleasing too. You know what I mean? Uh, I know neither one. I know that. Uh, the color, sometimes he just messes with the hues in different levels. Yeah. Oh, the beach theme for Mario Kart. That makes sense, yeah. It is a very pretty hack, yeah. It's super pretty. And it's so quick, yeah. Like, a 30, you know, an under 40 minute hack. That's this quality. Not a freebie. Uh, what's in the other pipes? They're all the same thing. They all go to the same spot. Uh, make or upload to the soundtrack on YouTube, yeah. God, man. Both my thumbs are just... just they're just tired. Both my thumbs are just tired today. After that, after playing that one level for four hours. I probably should have switched to a mouse and keyboard game here for the second half of this stream. Probably should have played some fucking Halo. I'm not having a rough day. That's That stream was... The stream today has been fucking sweet. Advanced Shells is really fucking hard. It's just a really fun game, though. Um, but I should probably limit how much I play it, is what I'm saying. Like, I probably shouldn't play it for six hours, yeah. Damn it, I didn't get it. <laughs> That'll work out my thumbs? Listen, listen, you can ask your mother. I'd be working out my thumbs plenty, alright? Oh, you bitch. I let go of jump like an idiot. Yep, thumbs. And big toes. Ask your mothers. Not yet. I haven't got the steering wheel working. I should actually try it again. Oh, wow. Why did I do that? Oh my god. I don't want to restart, chat. I'm sorry. That was cool. That was cool. Yeah. I like the I like the timer right now. I like I just like how it looks a lot. Yeah. I really like the way my stream looks right now. I, I don't know. Uh I, I, the stream upgrade I think has been sexy. Oh bitch. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm very happy with it. Can you get it earlier than that? Maybe. Come on, dude. Yeah, usually when you make changes, everyone complains, but this one everyone's been just like super happy about it, so that's how I know it's good. Oh no, why did that happen? Well, this run's shot, chat. One more one more attempt and then I'm gonna I'm gonna call it for the day. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I fucked up right there. I super fucked up. I'm super sorry. Uh speedrunning speedrunning be hard sometimes. Anyone ever take off your shoes, realize you still needed them, then completely lost one in a matter of seconds? Just you? Dude, I do that with like all sorts of shit though. Remember when you, you have your phone, you're sitting on the couch, you have your phone, you put it down, and then you have no idea where it went? I need more top dong and male models. But why male models? Yeah, I lose things I just had all the time. I'm a man though. So I just think that's like, not my fault. Oh, okay, sure. You frequently leave your shoes at someone else's house and have to go a day without your shoes? Wait, what? How do you leave their house? Last one for real, 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 for real. I need to do some more. We'll, we'll probably do this a good chunk of the week. Probably like until I beat advanced shells at least. Um, I need a new casual game. I'm thinking about doing another playthrough of Dark Souls. Like a full, like a full back seated playthrough even. Tua not starting off strong? Wait, I need Tua to do well. You hear Sekiro's good? Chad, I told you. If you want... If you want Grandpa World 3 to be released, we gotta get to the 11,000 sub goal of me playing Sekiro. There's nothing I can do about that. I can't, I can't go back on it now. I literally can't. I've already played Cuphead. I don't really like. I didn't really like Cuphead. I, I can I be honest? I thought Cuphead was the pretty, probably the prettiest game I've ever played. But gameplay wise, I thought Cuphead was super fucking generic. Yeah, I thought gameplay wise, I feel like Cuphead is a slightly worse version of Contra or R type.
God, I would kill to play Bloodborne in 60 frames. I love Bloodborne, but... See, there is a, a get all coins category. I don't think anyone's running it, though. Did I ever play Super Meat Boy? Uh, yes. I have no interest in Meat Boy forever. Absolutely no interest in it. I liked but didn't love Meat Boy. Uh, Raw Speed, thank you so much for that Prime for 24 months. Thank you, Roaring Gale, for eight months. Uh, yeah, I played Jump King. I don't get why they made Meat Boy forever like they made Meat Boy forever. Why didn't they just make another Super Meat Boy? No, there's not a way to, at least I don't know a way to speed it up. Um, yeah, Meat Boy Forever just, it's just such a weird, a weird, weird, weird decision to go like that. You have this wildly great game, and then you basically make it a mobile game after that. I don't know, man. I, I always will think that's such a weird decision. And then Meat Boy Forever took forever to come out. That's that's why they called it that, because it took for fucking ever to come out. Uh, no, I've actually never played Gungeon. I watched Barb play it enough times, though. Like, I get the idea of it. It doesn't interest me the way other rogue games interest me. And I'm a, I'm a pretty huge rogue fan and bullet hell fan, so you'd think Gungeon would be like right up my alley, but I don't know what it is, it just doesn't, doesn't appeal to me. Yeah. I feel the way about Gungeon that all my friends feel about Splunky. Eh. The difference is I'm not wrong where they are. <laughs> Probably the best roguelike. First of all, Gungeon's a roguelite, not a roguelike, um, isn't it? And secondly, secondly, uh, yeah, look at me, my douchebaggery. Uh, my douchebaggery's coming out right now. Uh, secondly, Spelunky 2 is the greatest roguelike game of all time, and after the greatest roguelike game of all time is Hades. <laughs> well, there's a difference between a roguelite and like. Basically, progression. Do you save any progression? That is a roguelite. Do you start over every time? That is a rogue like. I know it's dumb. Wait, where am I? Wait, why am I not? What happened there? Uh, like 22, I think is my highest heat. I stopped playing after a while because I wasn't losing. It got a little boring to me. But now if I started again, I would fucking suck at Hades, so. The thing with Hades was once I figured out what combo's good with what, it felt, oh wow, I did that again. Once I once I uh, felt what combo's good, one more time for real, for real. Uh, you felt, I felt like I could really win every single time, but yeah. Curious how I would like Dead Cells? I probably would love it. It's kind of like how like, um, Isaac players, yeah, Isaac players that really know how the items work. Like, I feel like you, I feel like you can always get a winning run in Hades. Like, at to up to a certain heat, you know. Obviously, like, there's gargantuan heats where that's not true. You know what I mean? Um, and the same in Isaac. If you know what the items do, I don't know what any of the fucking items do and what combos good. So I was just rely on chat for Isaac and half the time chat would be like oh yeah take take this thing and it made me you know limp dick shoot every once in a while 
Everybody's definition of roguelike is different. No, 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 no. Everyone's just wrong. There's a very clear, simple definition of roguelike and roguelite. Yeah. Like is a game that's like rogue. You start over every time. You lose all progression. Nothing you did carries over into the next life. Roguelite is that, but you get progression. Rogue lights are more popular because they're not as brutal. Like, you know what I mean? People like progression. People like getting stronger. People like advancing. You know what I mean? Rogue likes have a really strong problem in that the only way to advance in it is to fucking get good. And, like, quite frankly, not everybody wants to just get fucking good all the time. You know what I mean? There's a lot of people. There's a lot of people out there that just want to fucking play video games, shut their fucking brain off, and tell everyone to shut the hell up, you know what I mean? And just, like, do their own thing. And there's nothing wrong with that. Also, they weigh less. I don't think that has anything to do with it. Hi! Uh, did I get any Steam games to sale? No. Steam, ga Steam sales aren't as good as they used to be. Have I ever played Returnal? No, not yet. But I'm going to uh, once I move, because I'll have my... Um, uh, my PS5 hooked back up. Uh, my PS5's not hooked up right now. It's just sitting behind me. I, I got it, um, I got it custom painted. My PS5. It looked like a PS2. Come on, fucking dick. Sekiro's 50% off? I already own Sekiro. What's Steam? It is a, uh, internet video game PC store. Everyone tells me I should play Risk of Rain 2. I'd really like that. How's the house coming along? It's done. I'm just waiting on everything else. You know, permits, blah, 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 blah. Inspections. I'm excited. How many days will I miss for moving? Uh, probably two or three. How many? my real name? Yes, that is my real name. <laughs> yes, it is my real name. How'd you know? Can you get my thoughts on goat Rob Van Dam? I don't think he's, I don't think he's a goat. Uh, they're fixing it for me. I'm pretty sure it's software. It was a, um, I did something. But I can't figure out what I did, so they're gonna fix it for me. Are the controller coins death blocks? No, they're like Yoshi coins. Uh, if you get them all, you unlock the last level. I'm done for the day. My my thumbs are done. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry I didn't get a spectacular run in here today, chat, but we're going to continue de-rusting that and play a little bit more. Um, I don't have anything, like, particularly super special this week, like, set up. Like, we don't have, we don't have, I mean, we're, you know what? I mean, I tell you right now, we are going to get some, um, 
we're definitely gonna get some fun Mario partying in. That I know. That I know is that we're gonna get some great Mario partying in at some point. Uh do 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 Um let's raid. Oh my god, my hands are fucking rough. He is just so rough, man. Uh, let's... Oh, dude, let's raid Ari. Yeah, let's raid Ari, chat. Let's raid Ari at home. Oh, yes. Let's raid Ari at home. Guys, we need to come up with a big fucking raid of Poo Vibe. A big raid of Poo Vibe right here, alright? A thick raid of Poo Vibe. Someone commented on my 799 video saying it was the easiest challenge ever. <laughs> uh, you thought I had four more runs? I'd my chat. I'm just gonna be straight up. My hands are dead. It's I. It's been a long time. I, I can't remember the last time my hands felt this dead from that game. I think just three days off and then going right into that one level. Cause that level we were stuck on was that was a lot. That was a fucking lot. Right, I love you guys. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Um, I will see you all tomorrow. Um, we'll start with advanced shells and then we'll move on to something else. I'm, I'm not, I'm not sure what yet, but something of, something else. Yeah, something else. Anyway, I love you guys. Hope you guys have a great day. Peace. Bye.